All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to more Tears of the Kingdom. And we're here with our horse, Lord Fries. And uh, the main reason for this is, well, he's been a very good horse for this entire game, but we're gonna make him even better today by giving him lots of food, making it for him, uh, basically throwing him a feast so we can max out his stars because that is now a feature and I thought it'd be pretty cool to do. So um, <laughs> we're just at our house because it's been a bit. And I would cook stuff now, but we are pretty full on slots. So I'm going to sell off some of these recipes I don't need. Um, at a stable, probably the one up here. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get to cooking. We'll get to upgrading him, doing some exploring with him. Uh, and I think that'll be awesome. So welcome, everyone. Hopefully you're having a great, uh, well, Wednesday. It's not Wednesday. It's Monday. Uh, but I was close. Here, let's take our uh, fish friend. Little sake. Nope. I guess a quick house tour again because <laughs> I can't step on my table. But yeah, some favorite weapons and a little bed, patio. A college is such a peaceful place for a house, so I'm happy we can build it here. But you know, we're selling stuff. I think the stable will be better, and we can do our first upgrade because uh, yeah. <laughs> Really just stoop it up. So yeah, welcome everyone. Yeah, again, we're streaming today instead of uh, Wednesday because of the holiday. Thanksgiving being this Thursday. And uh, I'm going to be busy for the rest of the week. So figured I'd at least be better to squeeze one in now. So. Oh, and it's raining. <laughs> That's not good for cooking. Not at all. Oh, this way. <laughs> Oh, I should have just went to Terrytown, but how would have I been able to predict this? Also, wait. Why is the campfire still up? Yeah, it's raining. I guess it's like barely covered by this, so great design, actually. Okay. Um, we're just going to look for our beetle friend. Thankfully, because it's raining, he's always in here. Oh, that tree isn't having a good day. That's okay. This beetle just out in the rain. <laughs> He's hungering for profits. But us, we're hungering for food. So. Uh. <laughs> oh, there he is. Did you? <laughs> he had an invisibility cloak. Hello. Travel, my true love. I thought beetles were. Okay, you don't t take the beetles. You can take the food, though. Mm -hmm. Look what I've got. Yeah, um, I have to part ways with some stuff. Mostly just... I don't know if it's... It's hard. I like looking at all the foods, but you know what? Keep it to a minimum. That looks so nice, so it's like I don't want to get rid of it. We need to get rid of, like, nine things. So you know what? I'll just do that not pretty stuff. <laughs> like keeping the stuff that just looks good. That does not. <laughs> we'll get those all the time from Addison, which we did most of them, but you know what? We're sick of seeing these all the time. Could have some options. I'm also going to sell my porgies because these technically are good for the uh, Lurlin like base, like mini game, if you want to call it that. But you can always get free ones outside of it. So it's no big deal. Um, ooh. <laughs> Look at it. Thanksgiving roast. Everything delicious. And there's going to be worth a lot because that's not the point. Um, <laughs> damn, I just made these. Risotto, I'm sorry. And you know what? Yeah, we can sell that. That should be enough spots. I think we just need like nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, we can preemptively make them. Ooh. The joy of the baton. How about the joy of cooking? Because, well, you know, if we're doing a cooking binge, or at least a mini one, chef's always prepared. So, you know what? We 
Let's fix our hats. And we'll go with that. So I have like a little cheat sheet uh, of just things that we have to cook. It was actually on a Reddit thread that I thought saw, but it's helpful. So I'm going to put it on screen really quick. Um, yeah. So specifically for the golden horse, which is what we're trying to do right there. Um, it's kind of like a grocery list of all the things you would need to upgrade it from base to its max. Um, but yeah, if you see here, um, for fifth star speed, because it's four star right now, and this is arguably the most important, uh, three veggie omelets, three veggie cream soups, and three apple pies. So we'll start with that. Vegetable omelets would be, um, here, actually I can pull up our uh, list that we made of all the different foods, which is also in the description. Um, okay. Vegetable omelet is an egg, plant, butter, and salt. So we need three of them because the horse god is gluttonous. So egg, butter, um, salt, and then any sort of plant. If I was cooking for myself, I'd make it really uh, spruced up, but you know what? The horse god is gluttonous as is. Oops. Veggie omelet. Okay, we're just gonna do, well, you can do that again, right? Yeah. Probably the best use of this uh, cook again feature. Yes. <laughs> Homestyle dish mixes fluffy eggs with chopped veggies. See? Meat and protein, or, and veggies. It's good. Yeah, I love this feature. It's gonna listen to this song. Oh, critical. Nice. <laughs> okay. It's hard for me to hear the humming sometimes because it's really quiet. Um, but I like how it's like he hums little tunes from past games. Okay. So that's food number one. Um, food number two will be the veggie cream soups. And I'm going to pull up my document again. There we go. We're going to just type in veggie cream Soups, vegetable, salt, milk. Because soups are milk based. Um, everything else is pretty different to what you're cooking. Um, so veggie, salt, milk. And for that, yeah, so we have that. Mm, salt and milk. I usually start with those ones. Should we'll have to pick some more up too. And for a veggie, I don't. Wait, can you do a plant one? I'm not sure, because sometimes you can substitute, but sometimes you can't. Um, we can try a plant, but I think it has to be a vegetable. Here, let's just let's just see what this gets us. Oh, that does work. Okay, because vegetable usually refers to like a pumpkin or carrot. That's okay for horse god. It does plenty. And then we need one more. See, it's funny if I wanted to, I could go like that. And I think sun pumpkins would technically count. That, I'm pretty sure stand bulbs are also veggies now too. I haven't tried that mixture. Yeah, so instead of three veggies, there's five different types, I believe. Yeah, because the Breath of the Wild ones were carrot, carrot, pumpkin. So now there's Sun Pumpkin and Stamp Bulb. So that's cool. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and you know, you have your breakfast here. You have your brunch or lunch, dinner, whatever. And now finish with something sweet because the Horse God requires three apples. Um, well, did I just say apples? Apple pies? Yeah, they're basically apples. Um, but an apple pie, as to our sheet, is just a, whoop, it would be under pie, <laughs> apple pie, there we go. Apple, wheat, butter, sh butter, sugar, because for pies, it's a wheat and butter base, but sugar for the sweet pies, salt for the savory pies, but apple pie is sweet, so apple, wheat, butter, sugar. Whoop. In fact, I think I could just... Oh yeah, we made it there. Do we have it anywhere else? I don't think so. Yeah, we made like a hasty one. So I don't want to waste those ingredients. We'll go apple, wheat, 
butter, sugar. And again, we're low on some stuff, so we also take some stops. Yay. <laughs> Minimum effort cooking, but it's good. Gets the job done. Well, here is tune for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apple pie. Okay. Non-critical. Also, if you think about it, what even defines a vegetable? Are they even real? Exactly. Because, like, you know, there's always the argument of, is tomato a vegetable? And this game says it's a fruit. So, that is the official title of it. So, yeah, vegetables aren't real. I still think how, like, most foods can be debated if they're fruits or veggies and... I don't know. <laughs> I listen to the experts. Nintendo. Uh, yeah. Oh. Also, it seems like not everyone knows what some pumpkins are. Um, yeah, those are only in Hateno. You got to do the whole quest line that's there. So ah. everything with uh, CC and the mayor. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're going to Melania. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Lord Fries. He's the Lord of Fries. Oh, it's gonna be all about food. And maxing this guy out is something I wanted to do for the longest time. Uh, I think the only time we ever did a horse upgrade is I upgraded my normal pole horse, Mogo, from four star to five star pole. Um, you can also upgrade the pole on this horse. What? As I was saying, um. <laughs> Wait, did he get stopped by the fox? Awkward, but okay. But as I was saying, you can upgrade the pull on this horse, but since I'm never going to use it for, like, carting stuff, because this is my speed horse, yeah. I'm not going to bother. Full max out strength, ha. speed, and stamina. That makes the most sense. Ha. So I always like this little area. Also, he had that happen two times. Both times was a fox. Interesting. I'm going to look that up really quick. Er, ignore the other auto order clips. My switch clock was out of date. There we go. So I was doing amiibo scans. I was messing with the clock. So it rearranges the order of recent ones. Okay, it was definitely just the fox. I thought... I was like... So there's something else that just like um got in my way? No. Just being silly. Alright. Foxes are immovable objects. Apparently. Okay. Again, remember, these are the horses we don't touch because this is from my uh my 2017 playthrough, uh, when I first played the game, and I was a kid, so I named it off the memes of the time, so. Um, <laughs> hence these guys. But yeah, these these are actually the Tears of the Kingdom horses that I intended on having. And yeah, Moga is the pole horse, first horse we got, and max that one out. But Lord Fries is the one I want to upgrade here. Because, yep, strength, uh, for that final one, it's going to be vegetable curries, hot buttered apples, and carrot cake. Did we... Veggie, veggie cream. Veggie, veggie, veggie. Cream of veg... Cream of vegetable. What? <laughs> cream of vegetable. Was that not the right food? There's a lot of food in this game, so. Ve cream of vegetable, veggie. Cr Is that two different foods? One second. <laughs> uh, cream of. You know, I didn't think I noticed that before. Cream of vegetable. Is plant salt milk. That's what we did. But veggie cream.
That is so weird. <laughs> it should be cream of plant soup. That's where I got thrown off. I'm like, huh, I wonder why we were able to make it without using a vegetable. But it's called vegetable in the title. Well, that, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I thought we'd get away with the type thing, you know? That is very evil. <laughs> that exact thing happened to you? I mean, I don't I don't blame you. That is a, a foolish mistake by whoever localized this game. Uh, okay, so I guess stambobs don't count as the vegetable. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm glad I said that in theory because it I assumed stand bulbs were vegetables, but Hell, we don't even know if stand bulbs are onions. <laughs> so vague. Oh well. I guess we just eat it. So it's gonna be milk, salt, and our favorite stand bulb. Mm. And okay, we still have milk. I was worried that we would not. So milk, salt, and what's our cheapest? Yeah, we have the most like carrots, so we'll use those. Veggie cream soup. <laughs> That's okay. I guess fine. Um, here, let's throw the rest of our pots. And... Veggie cream, veggie cream. Oh, well, I can't navigate. They just tripled the amount of content. <laughs> now we listen for the song. I don't know that song. That's like the one I don't know. Okay. Now we can upgrade our horse. <laughs> yeah. When I play with headphones, I'm able to hear everything. But um, unlike my speaker that I keep in front of me, which is how I'm able to hear it without headphones. Uh, if I keep it up too high, then it'll pick up all the audio on my microphone. So I can still hear everything besides literally just that. Also, okay. Now we're playing by these uh, mishapped rules. So, five star speed. Feels more like a curse. Yes! <laughs> Finally a max dealt stat. Be able to run further and faster than before. We'll take him on a gallop soon. Um, because I do want to see... Max, nice. Stamina? Oh, that's actually easier. Pull I'm not interested in, but we could do it. Nah. Strength though. Okay. So again, it's another three course meal. It's like the brunch is curry. And then dessert is hot buttered apple. And the midnight snack is carrot. So. And the stamina is just eating your dessert before your meal. So. Hmm. You know what? I think we can do these right now. Yeah, let, let's. At least that one. I think the other one will need other supplies. So, I'm going to turn this into a, a kitchen real quick. Best way to do that. Oh. Six pots. Oh, no. <laughs> this isn't a good kitchen. Here, make like a countertop, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, gyroscope. Internal one. Doesn't need to be centered. Okay. We're gonna do a demonstration for these pots. And in this one, we're gonna make our what was that? The hot buttered apple, I believe. Uh honeyed apple, never mind. I believe a honeyed apple is just uh apple and honey. I think. Okay. Because yeah, a lot of the dessert ones are unique. Not really a pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quite simply. If it's for stamina, you need to uh, have stamina foods. I get that. Oh. 
What entice you to do that? I need more water for the cooking. Dance cooking. Okay. That's not all cooking pot's supposed to be. Wait, I wonder if we can do something stupid. We can! I love being stupid. Okay. Um. Yes! Elevated cooking! Okay. <laughs> Just ripe. We got it. Wait, no, this is how I cook from now on. Sorry. I have to top my game somehow. Ooh, wow. Okay, uh, veggie porridge is the next one. And uh, veggie porridge is a unique one. <laughs> Got a lot of vegetable foods. Okay, we're going to pop that up on screen really quick. Veggie. Yes. This one is one of the new Tears of the Kingdom ones, but... It's special because it doesn't use any of the new tiers ingredients. So you could technically make, you know, something with these three ingredients in Breath of the Wild, but it would just be like a rice ball instead of this. So um, plant rice milk. And yeah, for those who saw the cooking run uh, we posted yesterday, uh, well, hope you enjoyed it because that was very fun. Plant rice Oh, we're going to be short of milk. I see. Yes! <laughs> Just whips it up there. Okay. Damn. We could have cooked more if our last recipes didn't fluke. I love that. Okay. Um. So that's a bust, sadly. You know, we can at least try to cook the next thing. At least one of it. Hmm. Hands a horse. Oh, you can't upgrade the big horses, sadly. Yes. Does not want to have an ab abilities enhanced. Has the noble air about it. You gotta respect it. Well, <laughs> Fries is noble too, though. But can be upgraded. Um, you know, let's do hot buttered apple. Why not? Let's combine one thing with an apple. Hot butter apple. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Na -na -na -na. Yay. Okay. Again, I don't know why uh, putting butter on an apple enhances it. I think it's just off the belief that butter makes things better. So it doesn't matter what it is. But with that, we need milk. So fortunately, that can be bought here. Um, I can also pick from my carrot field. That's always nice. We've been growing carrots for a while now. Hmm. I'll say yeah, welcome everyone. Uh, and for those who can make it today, welcome. Because, uh, well, I know it's normally every Wednesday night, but when I do stream on other days, I know there's other people that usually can't make Wednesday who are here. So, hello. <laughs> yeah, when portable pot is useful. See, I just like it a lot because whenever I go to towns, there's always other things I'm doing and I always forget to cook. So, most of my cooking is to go. So, it's handy. So I might as well redo a glider. We had the new Amiibo one up, but for the time being, I don't mind. Ooh. Oh, if it's food-based, of course. Milk? Because we're, we're needing milk, right? 20 rupees. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, well, I do like cooking up a bunch because all the new foods are really fun too. Um, there's 30 new ones that Tears added, and those are the ones we did in, uh, well, the cooking run part two. Between those and uh, the bunch that Breath of the Wild had, I'm just glad that the game has a cooking system because, you know, it's fun. I feel like open world games have some sort of like 
combination thing, whether it's cooking or crafting or, I don't know, armor upgrading. But, I don't know, I like the way that Zelda does it, because if you have too many of those things, it, it can get, you know, a little tedious. But with food stuff, I think it's fun, you know? Not only is it helpful, but it's cool to see food. So, hi, Nadro. Mm -hmm. picture though. Chicken cooking. Okay. Well. Um. Oh, we didn't get the milk yet. That's right. <laughs> I just plucked a bunch of carrots and I was like, milk time. Pumpkins. But two places we can get milk. First one's just here. Uh, I will take all three. Not a biggie. Um, have a lot of those. This you can get for free, but we have money. <laughs> Makes such a small dent, it's basically free. I don't need to grow more. Oh. Butter, definitely, and we need five. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I always forget there's a little upstairs. Just, yeah. You can't even jump on the beds. How lame. Just want to cause ruckus. Also, do I have a favorite spot for cooking? Like, Rito Village, Shores Domain, or my own house? Well, I did I did build a little kitchen in my house, so... I don't cook there too often because I'm not there a lot, but... Uh, it is nice. I do also love the Rito Village one because... All the houses are like little bird cages. And, uh... I don't know, it just has a great view of the nice Tabantha area. Oh yeah, we're gonna go to the, to the pasture to get more milk. Because that is the second location. Also, thank you, Sean, for the $5. Uh, love my videos and streams. Also, what's my next challenge run gonna be? Well, uh, the next challenge run is already recorded. And I can't say it's a Breath of the Wild one. So, we just recently did a Tears of the Kingdom run, and that came out yesterday. But, um, yeah, the next one has been recorded for a little bit. I'm working on a stats video currently. So that's going to go out, and then this next one. And then soon after, we'll record the next tiers one. So, um, I'm very excited. A lot I want to do before the end of the year, and uh, well, into the next. Wait. I feel like I never see that. Catch the gloop. That's an interesting slogan. I don't know, it's actually a gloop with food. Or at least not good food. I have things to sell. Ah. No, I don't. One woman cheese making business. So I don't want to trade because... Well, I need the milk. I believe there's a person over here. It's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> they are happy cows. Acorn boy! <laughs> We're on this farm, I'm a VIP. Because we can make many trades and barters. Just three acorns for a bottle of milk. I don't know how many we have, but I assume hey, enough. <laughs> yes. See, Fitano people love bartering, because it's a more classic sort of style, and it fits Fitano well. How many acorns do we have? It's not something I keep track of. Enough. <laughs> we can get milk for days, actually. <laughs> I have to do a dialogue each time, but for just a couple, you know what? <laughs> it's nice because I, th I think this guy's infinite stock, actually. Yeah, <laughs> really good if you're spending a lot of time in the woods. And then you can trade this milk for cheese as well, so. So you can get, as long as you have a lot, a lot of acorns, infinite milk, infinite cheese. And it doesn't seem to go out of stock. <laughs> Which I actually never tried more than like two, so. Okay, nine milk's pretty good. I have a feeling we're gonna need one more. <laughs> Second guessing. Acorns. Yummy. Acorn boy is the cutest insult I've ever heard from the hero of time. <laughs> Honestly. I love how people just kind of toy with Link and just like, oh, you know, you're this grand adventure, eh? Okay, Acorn Boy. It's it's kind of pure, though, so. 
Okay. Final veggie porridge, because we need it. Nice so kind of cooking. Uplifting dish. Yeah, it's like one of the most Hateno dishes to exist. You just calm. Yeah. Well, um, I'm going to look at what the final upgrade... Wait, is it the final or... Oh, you know, this is actually the uh, second to last one because our horse currently has three stamina and needs... Well, this is for the fourth one and then there's more for the fifth. So for the fifth stamina, we're going to need a lot more. Which is actually good that we got that milk done. Um, yeah, actually, without even putting it on our uh, screen, exact list. I'm gonna have to get like three more. Stream is making you hungry. Mission accomplished. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, no, it's any time I deal with the food in this game. So, like that's why I just sit, hoard a bunch of the nice foods in my inventory. There's only like really a few that I, a few slots I have for eating. The rest are just for looking at cake and caprese and crepe and everything that's great. So can you make fire using flint and earthquake technique? Um, I would assume so. You know what? That just has my curiosity. I'm sure it's able to hit or act like a metallic object, so. But that's a theory. Where is my flint? Gone. <laughs> oh, because I'm on the wrong sword option, so. Funny. Nice. It just blends in with everything else. Wait. <laughs> I, I can't menu today, honestly. Oh, you can't? Okay. So I guess it's like a blunt attack because it's like rocks, you know? Earthquake. Okay, good to know because I probably would have tried that down the road anyways and then would have realized it didn't work. Good to know now. I'll see yes. Chef Pitchfork. We love it. Stop it. No. Um, well, I guess we can cook a couple more things as we prepare. So... After this upgrade, which requires the uh, three apples, that, um, well, I guess we can do the other two hot buttered apples. We won't be able to make anything else, really. Um, oh yeah, how about we just <laughs> select it for recipe, like I keep forgetting. So, hot buttered apple, hot buttered apple. Yes. <laughs> Okay, well, that should be good for now, or at least a bit, I would hope. <laughs> Have our milk glider to represent all the milk we're uh, going to be using. A lot of soups, a lot of vegetables, not plants, apparently. Um, Here, <laughs> it's here. Also, that is a fairy well, I could get some. But also, a good thing about this, we can try out our horse, because um, our horse already has max speed. So this is just getting a stamina up and it's strength because it's a good horse. We're going to use it more and using it more means putting in danger more. So yeah, strength is basically the health stat of the horse. So it doesn't affect like um, when you run things over, like that damage is constant across most horses. So the strength stat is just pure health points. I forgot how many is like each star, but... I think around the low end, it's like 100 for like one or two. I think it's above like 200 for max. So it's lightning again. Take horse. There we go. Five speed. Hmm. Well, I think if I have lightning helm on a horse, it, it doesn't attack the horse, right? It's like, I like, absorbed the blast. I believe so. I was very wrong. I am so sorry. 
Luckily, lightning is not enough to kill. Even from like a a very weak horse, it'll take at least two. Oh, come on, you're yellow. You should have like the lightning helm properties. Let's look at this speed. Just you know, a full gallop. They both had a canter and a gallop. It just speeds along very nicely. Oh, but can overshoot as well. It's weakness. Charge! Right into the horse god. Your leader. Oh. That's on you. Okay, food time. Okay. It's good thing it's still in the range to be upgraded, even though it's in the water. Okay, stamina. Give it one more. Yes. Appetizing meal. One meal is like six for this guy. Takes that many. <laughs> Convince it's always raining here. Honestly, yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's one of the stormiest and rainiest regions in the game. I know that. Forget the exact values. I'm, I think the weather cycle is identical to what it was in Breath of the Wild, though. But yeah, a lot of storm, a lot of rain. This in the jungle, too. Has that. Okay. For this one, we need... <laughs> I was going to try to, like, call you out and demonstrate, but you know what? We'll just start on the next upgrades. Oops. <laughs> yes. Vegetable risotto, carrot stew, cream of vegetable soup. So, all kind of soupy things. I'm counting risotto. Um, but of course, all vegetable too. Just really loves or veggie. Yeah. <laughs> and and fruits to sweeten it out. But uh, vegetable risotto, carrot stew, um, vegetable soup. Wait, isn't cream of vegetable the one that we tried? Was that the one that we made previously but didn't work? Wait, I... <laughs> There's too many types. Let's pull up our list. Um, cream of vegetable. Yep, we need the veggie cream soup, but we need the cream of vegetable. So, we'll still have to make three more of those. So, that's plant salt milk. Um, carrot stew. It's carrots, milk, wheat butter. Because stews are all milk, wheat butter based. So... All these ones, besides that, have, uh, yeah, milk, wheat, butter. And then risotto will focus on at the end. So. Oh, nice thing about cooking in the rain. Um, it's usually not a good option, but with special zone fires, it's easy. Wait, we gotta, we gotta do the stack, though. How high can we elevate our cooking? Soon we don't get struck by lightning here. Damn. <laughs> Gotta get in flatter ground. I don't want to fuse it either, because that nullifies it. Oh my god. The lightning strike hit up. I'm so sorry. It's about to stop thundering, so... But not again, please. I like hydraulic joints. How did we get it the first time? Maybe the bridge is better. <laughs> Sorry, this is really fun to see, and I can't be without it. It just spat. The metal is like latent. Okay. Let's start with another three stack. So, again, the veggie cream soup. Because we have to make those, and... Oh, he's on the wrong sort. Alright. It's gonna show everything. Good to know. How would you show the last thing? <laughs> <sighs> I missed it, didn't I? Cream vegetable soup, okay. And that's the right one, I believe so. 
Um, yep, it's cream vegetable, but it's a plant one. <laughs> Throw it up there. <laughs> I love the little hop it does. Cream of veggie. There we go. Wait. That was the right one, right? It was, yeah. Okay. The, yeah, just like, it's very confusing. <laughs> yeah, Korean vegetable, good. Um, I forgot I was doing this too, so I should probably actually finish this because then we'll be out of spots. We can't do that right away. So let's do strength first. I totally forgot actually, because, uh, oops. <laughs> Veggie curry carrot cake. Sure. Vegetable curry and carrot cake. Mm. So, a little cooking fiasco. Well, this one's kind of awkward. Fun to cook. Vegetable curry. Um, well, we can look at this one then. Because vegetable curry is... V-E-G. Eatable curry. Vegetable rice and spice, because... Pretty much all curries have a rice and spice base. Yeah, I forgot they're all pretty simple. So just vegetable, rice, and spice. Quite simply. So we hopefully hope we have enough Goron spice. Oh, we have plenty of Goron spice. We're, we're missing one exactly. <sighs> rice. Vegetable, um, carrot's fine. Oh wait, no we're not. We only needed two more, right? I just had one cooked up already. So I'm glad I didn't eat it. <laughs> I was like almost disappointed in myself. Rice and spice. You can take a pumpy. Oh wait. Oh, shatter my Goron spice. Oh wow. That took a hit. I'm going to do it. Is this going to work? Wait, if we're quick enough. I think so. Cook! Oh, <laughs> it was trying to reach the top one. So three is the limit. <laughs> it goes to the other one. This cooking knows no bounds. Really, though. <laughs> well, I kind of prop that one back up. So you gotta do silly cooking. Oh, wait. It worked for like a moment. And then, yep, lightning boom. Unworked it. <laughs> okay, just one more. That was too, uh... Towering. Okay. So the next is the carrot cake, I believe. Um... One second. So carrot cake, we'll put that on. Or is it carrot stew? Mm. No, it's carrot cake. Okay. <laughs> so. Here we go. <laughs> carrot cake. So there's four types of cakes in the game. Three from Breath of the Wild, one from Tears. But the carrot cake's returning. It's carrot, butter, wheat, sugar. So. Mm. That'll be simple. Carrots, butter, wheat, sugar. Wheat, butter, sugar. Should low on that, but we'll make it work. <laughs> if we had like a slight stepping stool, you could probably do a four stack to get it even funner. <laughs> Alright, do it once more. <laughs> yeah, I still never tried that before, just it's just silly. Yay. We like speed. The horse is kinda behind, I think it'll still count though. Close enough for the god to work its magic. Enhance. Fries. Oops. Fries. Uh 
Wow, I actually calculated it right. And that's max strength. So, again, I forgot the exact health point numbers, but I believe I'll have somewhere over 200 health now. It's in that 200 to 300 range, I think. Um, I covered this in my horse stats video in Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure those value changed in this game. Uh, maybe. Who knows? But it's also, I think, different per horse, too, by a little bit. Um, there's like a bit of weird variation with the type of horse. So who knows? But yeah, now we just need to do the last uh, stamina ones. Oh my god. It's crazy to see a horse with this much stars. We never had that in any save before. Because Breath of the Wild, you know, couldn't upgrade. But. Okay. Cream vegetables, carrot stew, vegetable risotto. So we were doing it a moment ago. So cream of veggie. Um, let's actually cook those too. Then the carrot stews. Almost maxed out. And this is the only one I really plan on doing for now, because uh, you know, it's making the best horse even better. Totally fine. We're gonna go. Do we just make a extra apple pie to point? Oh, you know what happened? It's going by the sort. So we had like some special apple pies with like effects, like up here. But it took from those first, not the ones we just made. Interesting. Um, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Also does it for plant. So cream vegetable, we're going to go back with that. Yes. So there's two more of that. Let's look for recipe. Boop. Okay. Lord Fries or Lord Fries? Well, um, I just thought F R Y S was funny. Besides, Lord Fries wouldn't have fit within like the character count because you can only have nine letters. So, but obviously it's talking about like French fries, but just the creative spelling. Okay, next is the Hasty Carrot Stew. So, again, your stews are like a more elaborate soup base. So it's gonna have your milk. And then wheat butter, and then something. So, let's cook that something. It should be the max. Oop, almost threw in the water, because I didn't get my pots out. Please, Fett. Ooh, almost perfectly. That wasn't perfect, I jinxed it. <laughs> Rip drill shaft. I know. We're like in the region too. What the? What? I wasn't paying attention, I guess. <laughs> Wait. Nope. I lost focus. Yeah, why'd I pull up the milk if I was. Who knows? <laughs> my fault. What happened? <laughs> Do we run out of butter? We ran out of butter. <laughs> I was like, huh? Why did it make milk? <laughs> I was very confused. Um. Well, guess we got a speed to get some milk and just ignore these other pots. Um. Or I can at least cook the risotto and then we'll come back for the final one. So, the risottos are... Um, <laughs> Wait, aren't risotto's butter too? Oh no. Um, first, I was looking for let's see, risotto, 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 vegetable risotto. Rizzo, oh, rizzo. Vegetable risotto. Yep, right. Vegetable rice butter salt. So, we need one, two, three, four more butter. Hitano is a restock place, but. That's like the one I forgot. Oh yeah, Kakariko. Kakariko has butter. I don't remember where else has butter though. I'm sure some wandering trader does, but I never focused too much on it because Kateno has five. Uh, I think there's at least three here. There's not more. I hope there's more. 
Goodbye cooking pots. <laughs> I'm not too worried, we can buy a bunch. So do, yeah, do horses celebrate Thanksgiving? Well, you know, if a steed is with the person who does, then I guess they do too. So we're showing him a good time for all the times he helped us. It's the best way. There is how much butter? Oh, it's also a five stack, just deep. <laughs> five sticks deep. Oh, they have eggs. I think it's funny that the shop changes with quests. So when you first come here at the start of the game, there's only like one egg and nothing else. But if you help the shopkeepers, uh, like the restockers, fight off the monsters there so don't, they don't have to do it, then everything will be restocked besides the eggs. And then to get the eggs back, you have to do some quest. I don't remember, but I think you just have to give them eggs or something. But yeah, so the inventory changes throughout. But regardless, let's finish cooking. All right, donkey. May I ride, please? No, okay. Wait, actually. Plop. Like shooting fish in a barrel or a very small pond. I like these guys. Only find them here in Link's house if you have the water pools. You know, I kind of wonder though if you just have a bunch of those little ponds. I'm sure you can just get more carps because only one sp spawns per little pool you can have in your house. So if you just make a bunch of those, you can make a Sankai carp farm. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we have enough butter for our hasty carrot stew. So let's do it. Um, Hasty carrot stew. And we're going to take well, a carrot. <laughs> Not the milk. Here, just eliminate one thing and turns into just milk. With wheat and carrot in it. Like, okay. Butter is the only differentiator. <laughs> Critical, not for my sake, though. Just for the horse gods. But, final thing is risotto. And, uh, for the risotto, it's the vegetable one. Risottos typically have a rice, butter, salt base. So, rice. <laughs> we gotta sort it, so the butter's back. At least it keeps, like, those key central ingredients in the center. Rice, butter. Not the salt, though. Salt's... Wait, is this salt? Did I, did I... I, it is, okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I put it with all their food base ingredients. So rice, butter, salt, and just any vegetable. So yeah, some pumpkins will come then. Yeah, so the one new vegetable in this game, I guess. There we go. Also, thank you, Orca, for helping with chats today. Um, yeah, if, if anything, well, I don't think the rules are pinned right now, but like... If you're doing anything that's just attention grabbing or just rude for the sake of it, uh, well, it will be handled because obviously that's not the point of us just trying to have fun here. So, um, yeah, whatever Orca says, please respect it because it's what I want for the stream too. So, thank you. Okay. Um, that should be the final one. I was just kind of throwing stuff in because, yeah, sunny vegetable risotto. So, we have three of these. Three stews, three soups, and um, a hat. That's not what I needed. Hello. I always forget I have this thing. It just kind of a, a jump in my inventory. But you know what? We're going to put on... No. I like this with that. Like, the beret's cool, but I don't know. I'm recently just digging the cape a lot more. Cape hood, whatever. Oh. And the master... Fork. Hello. Thank you. I can't hit it more than three times, because then you get too angry. Bop. Sorry. Indestructible, so they're fine. 
I guess we'll just go upgrade the horse and then we can do some adventures then. So, it's very worth it. You know what we could do? We could do a little skydive there. Courage to jump. We'll be jumping off this. <laughs> Quenching the hunger. And also, we do our we do have our food. Don't worry. Floyd has been here, and the hamburger. I wish we could make these guys, but that's why we have Lord Fries, because the embodiment of Floyd. So, okay. Let's see, I'm gonna switch to skydive. That's not skydive. <laughs> I just pick like like armor in the corner of my eye. Whee. Oh my god, we're literally just zooming. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly for the star fragment. It's like the best place to get him. What is that behind there? It's an odd glow. It's a traveler. Oh, it's the Ega thing. Okay. <laughs> I was like, huh? What's this? Oh. Can't avoid us forever. It's the Ega clan? <laughs> the Ega. Oh. Wait, no. <laughs> the Ega clan. Not the Ega clan. I need an explanation. Mm. Wow. I defeated him. <laughs> if I defeated Koga, why are you trying to go after me? Certain like power scaling here. You don't understand. Here, get winded. <laughs> See? Ooh. You back off. <laughs> get him side on. Yeah! <laughs> the push at the end. Oh, thank you. You don't need those. You're not in the depths. Not right now, at least. He's got a good place for armor. It's a couple of them. It's always like those tucked away little stretches sometimes. Like armor and Sora. Uh, elsewhere there would be, uh, I don't know, like silent shrooms awkwardly on ledges. And Lord Fry's awkwardly there. Also, there's a Korok there. Huh. Wish we had a tow horse for that, which we do, but not currently out. But let us upgrade Lord Fries to the max. Besides the pole staff, but again, <laughs> don't need that. Stamina? There we go. Risottos, carrot stews, and vegetable soup. Literally the best horse stat-wise all over, well, I've ever had. Let's go. Do the dance. <laughs> the curse dance. But curses my horse in a good way. There we go. The max and away I want it. We're never gonna use this for a uh, a towing horse, so I don't need pull. Because Moga is your towing horse. So you fulfill different roles here. <laughs> max pull? It's literally inverse of that. So max pull, max everything else. And two for the other stat. This one we can't upgrade, but honestly, if it had more speed, that would be super overpowered. And then Moo just sits there. I, I never used Moo before, but uh, it is a special horse, just in pattern. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, my streams and the food just ate some great pizza to fulfill the hunger. Well, there you go. <laughs> in honor of pizza, which I don't think the horse got wanted pizza, but we still have our pizza somewhere. I don't have pizza. Did I eat it last time? <laughs> Wait, that's that's like a crime, actually. Not going to jail you out. <laughs> well, we're the greatest food. <laughs> it's literally the greatest food. That and bread. Melty cheesy bread too. All that and some nice tabanta wheat. We could make something like, I don't know. How can we elevate a pizza? A lot of things like throw off the recipe, so it's hard. <laughs> So it's adding something will just cancel the pizza. Like that, come on. <laughs> no, don't do that to me. I'm just trying to make a pizza that's extra hearty. So it's sad that sometimes the cool stuff can't be really brought out. 
For cooking for purely effect, it's usually making pretty generic meals like rice balls and slot skewers and whatnot. But pizza is his own reward, I guess. So that's fine. Pizza! Woohoo! Tomato pizza. It is irresistible. Melty Ateno cheese. Okay. Now I certainly feel better. So, yay. And Melty Cheesy Bread is just... And Caprese. These are like the three best new foods in this game. In my opinion. Caprese, Melty Cheesy Bread, Pizza. Also, Cheesecake is pretty delicious, too. All very good ones. So, yes, with that, all good. <laughs> Cooking good for now. Because um, I do want to explore a little bit with the horse. Just imagine Link absolutely destroying an entire pizza by himself. As he should. Like, pizza is just a grand food. It still is my favorite because there's so many awesome pizzas you can get, you know? So, how could it not be my favorite? I really especially uh, love New York style. Like, recently, because I... I visited New York for the first time, like, last year, and, uh, finally tried their pizza, and I'm like, yeah, this is the best. Okay. <laughs> it's settled. But pizza, almost all over, can be amazing. So. Hmm. We love pizza time. So, yeah, like, I want to get my horse out, but also I want to help this Korok, so... Maybe order of operations before we test out our horse, because <laughs> it's stuck. I'm probably going to have to reload it. There definitely was a, uh, a Korok. Hello. Are you going to be by the tech lab or just up there? <laughs> okay. We'll do this first, then we'll uh, ride a horse because I need to get a mouth and that's going to be uh, fun. But, you know what? It's going to be easily done. It wants us to build a catapult, I just know it. Not many of those have you build that. Very specific thing. So we can do that. You get all you little guys. There's a hundred of them. Yep. Uh, if I calculate this right, it probably needs like at least four separate parts. I can't overshoot it, but it's also very easy to undershoot if you don't have enough uh, you know, space away. Yeah, yep. Like these four. And then final platform at the end. Stabilizers hold a lot of weight, so this should be fine. Oops, I like that. Like this, though. Okay. Such nifty devices. Thank you, Zonai. We do have like an auto build schematic for one, but... I wonder if it has all these parts. It's kind of similar. Yeah, the problem is it just... It's... This... Wait, it's the same sizes, isn't it? It is actually, wait, that's actually good that we didn't build it then, because, uh... Oh yeah, it's made with different materials, so it wouldn't have worked. <laughs> I'm actually going to take off this middle one. Because that's going to overshoot it. Mm. This is pretty sunrise. Glad we stayed here for it. All right. Ready? I sure am. Woohoo! Yes! It's gonna make it! Like, perfectly? <gasps> it literally hit the whole location! Oh my god, that's, that's amazing! Anything else would have greatly overshot that. I'm glad. It worked out, see? And then we go. Oh, basically perfect. Oh, <laughs> roll right into him. Hello. 
Oops, I, I took like, it wasn't registering at first. <laughs> Damn, um, I can't give myself too much credit. Like that was spot on, but it would be cooler for like the cutscene went right then. You know, like if you deliver the quark, it's instantly like, thank you. Cause then that would have been cool. Otherwise it just like, or at least hit the location. Blind luck. Funny. Aha. Uh -huh. Um. But yeah. Yeah, literally Korok spatula. We love them. But now I'm gonna need a horse spatula. Which, wait a second. Oh, he's on like a little rock. That's cute. Who's to say we can't use the same method? Okay, no, you got this. You gotta call him. I don't know his language. Just make it work. Yes. <laughs> Literally spatulating him out. Okay, good. Oh wow, that, that did numbers. Numbers, not full results. I, like dunked them underneath. It's okay, you got this. Yeah, just take him to shore. Perfect. You were like there though. I could reload you, but you know what? I, I have faith. What if he just jump on you? Not the type of jump I was hoping for. Ugh. Okay, it doesn't work like that. Kind of figured, but... It's okay, just catching. <laughs> Don't worry, this isn't painful at all. Oh, I see the problem. Gotta go from this angle. This is a better angle. I just want to scoop him out. <laughs> it's important, I care a lot about this guy. Early. <laughs> Please work. I need you. I need you. Or see. Yes. Yes. Okay. This won't send him flying, obviously. Just. Oh. Move him over there. <gasps> yes. Go! No! <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. He like took no damage from that. It just, it just flipped him. Pretty good. Yes. Yes, yes, power! I upgraded your strength. <laughs> this should count. I know it's not what the strength stat does. But I'd like to believe. Ooh, well, I, have, I have a plan B here. Oh, it's working. Yes. Yes, elevator. Oh my god, it did. Yes. I literally elevated him out. Horsey. Okay, don't. We don't repeat mistakes, though. You, 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 you. How could you? How could you just do that to me? How could you do that to me? You went, you went down that ramp. You, you chose to. Oh, and he teleports. He has a magic horse. The classic 10 hour shortcut. For that. Let's go! I take responsibility. So it does kind of work. That's cool, at least. Watch it. Yeah, you just need to do that. That's crazy. I love that. Okay. <laughs> 
Once more. Just you this time, though. Go! Oh. <laughs> I think that's definitely limited. I, I had a feeling, but okay. You know what? That's how we start a horse adventure. Free little adventure. Five speed, five stamina. Nice. Well, it just took us that long to do it, you know? No biggie. Now we're cruising. It's not as big of a jump as it is from three star to four star for speed. Five speed is just like a little faster than four, but with the stamina on top of it, we can really go into some moblins. Ooh. <laughs> There we go. All around wax. And bullying. Hello. Bye bye. <laughs> go. <laughs> Keep him down. Here. Do some damage. The hits work well too. Accelerate fast. There's like a wolf, so you can hunt. Everything can be hunted now. Man. Just yeah, getting tossed in. Nope. Oh, damn. The resilient guys. Ooh. Um <laughs> Where's our secret weapon here? Um I don't have a secret weapon. It's a made up term. Nope. Dead. Oh crap, it's already. I broke the trident. I thought I sold one more hit. Ah, damn. I need that. It's fine. Repairing our champion weapon just too expensive, and we need the diamonds for uh what's it called? Uh the circlet upgrades? At least we know that now. Let's go in with the plan B strat. Our plan B. Side on. Yeah, sometimes a redo is all you need. I wonder if we can shoot a water beam from here. We can! Just like that. You get the double horse damage. Not sure if that stacks with the ice critical, but it's still cool. Ooh. <laughs> Little spin. What do you think of that? Killed your friend, you're dead. Can't win this. That's it. Just spinny spin. Bye bye. Oh! Whoa! What, what got me? Wait, well, what got me there? That's interesting. I just got done in by something. The tool and push him, whatever. Or we can give him a, a horse whack. <laughs> the fries charge. No. I'm gonna check that clip after this. I want one more? Sure. Donation. Your sir. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, yeah, what happened right there? That was interesting. Boko threw a stone. I don't think stones make you raked all though. Yeah, apologies for the auto order clips. That was when I was messing with uh, my date and time. Killed. Okay, so the Bacoblin didn't. It wasn't a stone. What? Did the. <gasps> no way! I stopped my horse in front of the Moblin, so my horse naturally back kicked him. Like, he literally just straight up kicked him, but the kick went so high it also hit me, too. Watch. He got the moblin and me. It was like my. It was Lord Fries who did that. Interesting.
That was crazy. I was just actually really confused, but good for you. <laughs> Only does like a quarter heart to me. Does like 30 damage to the enemy. Pretty much a win-win. Okay. And I uh, yeah, just all these trees having a great time with. So the pitchfork isn't sharp. Cut the grass with it. The best type of grass cutter is putting two swords on top of each other because they're sharp, and then you get that extra reach for the spin attacks. Okay. But we'll take our horse on maybe a central hour adventure because there's still some stuff there we want. Um, I'll explore like, the rest of the castle town ruins because last time we found a well. Also, what the? Wait, why was there a goddess statue here? Usually, like, stars mean fairy fountains. I thought that's how I pinned it. Wait a second. Doesn't it mean it's something cool below in the depths? Yeah, why is there a goddess statue just under here? Usually, they're not in stables, right? It's a random... <laughs> That's never been a... Huh. Did they just add a random statue? Uh, but usually every goddess statue in the surface means a cool one in the... No, it's not that, because it doesn't apply to towns. But I've never been there in the depths. So there might be something cool. Maybe there is something, yeah. Maybe that's the point of it, you know? I mean, I know towns don't, but towns already have the mines, at least, so... This would be the first one, then, that won't have anything special under it. Be right over there and see there's a root. I guess there's a lionel here because it's stable. Um sorry. <laughs> Capsule strats spring. spring. Okay, I forgot what shield I was using for what. Ah, huh. yeah, I think that's literally just for nothing. But that's wild that it's there, you know? Usually they all mean something. Okay, you know, Bo. Look at this armor with range attacks. Doesn't do a lot. That's okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, I guess we'll go attack buff. And then we'll go on a horse adventure. This is just a small game. I don't even need armor points, just style. Oh wait. Nice, okay. For a bit of fun. <laughs> Too much damage. Wait, not even a skeleton. Silver Lionel, pathetic. Okay. Extended sword. Why not? <laughs> ah, don't hit my shield. Need more respect than that. Extra damage is cool too. Woohoo! Flick. Uh oh. Good enough. <laughs> so long, Lionel. I could use another bow actually. Oh. You guys beat me to it. <laughs> you know, it's been a while since I had all four of you out. Yeah. Read you actually being in the picture for once again. That must be a mistake. <laughs> Maxed arrows. Um. Hate when there's all bows that I like. <laughs> I guess I don't really like the front. Of, oh, I kind of do. Um. <laughs> I love these bows too much. Like, I can't drop them. They're very cool bows. Um, that's good for stu skeleton stuff, which I rarely use, but... Oh, I have two duplex. Never mind. I don't need to. Oh. Yeah. That's, uh... Attack up seven. Sometimes I like those more than the five shots, because... 
It's more often that three arrows hit than five. So you just have more damage with them. Especially when you're aiming for the head. Because those side shots on a five shot don't always land anyways. So as you'll enhance the three that usually do land. And yeah, Riju has an explosion effect. That's true. Um, the stats, as far as I'm concerned, because I'm doing a lot of research on Sage stats right now. Um, but on average, it does about 100 damage for the explosion. Um, well, that's with the elemental properties. So explosion is about 70 damage. There's like 20 shock damage on there. And then around 10 fire, but it depends on the enemy because they all take different fire damage. But... Yeah, typically it'll, it'll do around 100. For a boss enemy that doesn't take elemental damage, like 70. Um, thank you, Inova. But I'm still looking into a bunch of sage stats right now, so. It's very good. It's very powerful, I just don't like using it because I like more of the really unique stuff that other sages have. Also, there's a cool tree. That's all I really need to see. We could try to fight that Talus, because that's one for the count. And you know what? No harm in doing a little hover bike there. Which I don't always use, but in the depths, always a free pass. You're just going somewhere big for one thing. Oh, yeah, also, I like that Ascend Pillar, because uh, that leads right underneath the... Uh, Oh, the tech lab that's there. And usually that's controlled by the Ego. Um, so you could just normally get there by like knocking in the front door and then you'll fight them. But there's like an alternate cutscene where if you go up the Ascend Pillar, they're like, wait, how do you get in here? And then it starts a fight. So I think it's really funny that they have that. Because that's definitely the reason for that pillar. is for a funny side gag interaction. Because that's how we did it in the, uh, uh, the Ego one, actually. When we're getting the Eeg armor here. So it was really funny. Nope. Oh, I got him! <laughs> and right on top, too! What are the odds? Oh. I was getting flung. What happened there? I don't think I can boulder him. I wish he could break the... Ah. It works with the, uh, any other bombs. Yes, get him. Ooh, break it. I just launched that stone. How does this contribute to 100%? Um, well, for the Medals of Honor. So, since we're getting all key items, um, one of the key items are the Medals of Honor, killing all of uh, the boss types of enemies. You know, this will be funny. Yeah. <laughs> Basic minor weapon, but a little more enhanced. See, we, we could actually see our progress on Medal of Honor. Um, I'm sure we have a lot now. And then, yeah, I kind of want to do some adventures. Uh, check out some of the holes here, because I might have one of the missing wells. Um, I don't know, so let's check that stuff out. <laughs> also, mineral hard hands. They are pretty cool. Um, I had like two rare hearts at once. I usually try to do the hard hands while I know I'm getting two taluses back to back so I can match them. There we go. Oh. The existence of risotto implies the influence of. Italian Italian culture or highly in Italian culture. Which species is the most Italian? <laughs> oh my god. It's like, yeah, because there's definitely, you know, what influences what. Um Hiteno will have a lot of those, you know, um well, agricultural base ingredients, maybe like the porridges, a lot of omelet stuff comes from there. Um So yeah, what were the Italian stuff? I mean, if you have pasta, pasta wheat, Rito, there we go. Who knows? Plus, I believe it's decently cold over there. Who knows? That's me just really thinking. But also, yeah, just in this game in general, you're going to have, like, a lot of um, 
a lot of stuff that's Asian based. And then specifically like you have like some Italian or I know it's even just like stuff like French stuff, like with like the Munias you can get. Um So there's like influence in like very specific parts of the world typically where like other types are just completely omitted because I think that's just stuff that'll be more commonly thought of in Japan, where the game was made. So I'm no expert, uh it's not everything. I don't think you know this has anything to do with that, but uh <laughs> the warding food. Nice. Well, okay, I was going to talk to the wall person, and then I was going to talk to the Medal of Honor person. Well, well. <laughs> yes. Plants and creatures not seen above ground. They're dimly lit. Got more. I think I got like one or two. Oh, just one. It was actually... Probably the closest one here is uh, right next to the cathedral, like in the ruined castle town. Just four left. Yes. Basically, only have my sensor on well, and that was actually the first time we utilized it because uh, we warped to the shrine over here and we got the beeps, and it led there. So maybe there's. We didn't fully explore that. There's like a chance there could be a well. If not, we can still take our horse through and check it out. Because they have four wells, three more caves, but the caves will be easy to find with Colton. So who knows? Yeah. The goal is to find all those naturally, though. We're like Medal of Honor stuff. I didn't mind using a guide and pinning stuff. Because that's inhuman to do without any help. Okay. Uh, big monsters. So still talus, ten talus only, seven hinox only, and uh, probably the most of frocks, as I would assume. Oops, unusual monsters. Seven. Wow. Okay, so we have uh, twenty-four bosses remain. That's not that bad at all. Some surface, some depths. But yeah, we got all the gleox, of course. Uh, did some of those many times. Um, all the constructs. All the Muldugas, obviously. Easiest metal to get in either game, because there's only four in both games. Okay. Well, luckily, there's a mini stable. In the fine stable. Take horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lord Fries. Look at all those stars. Only fitting for a gold horse. He really enjoyed the Thanksgiving feast. Yeah, picked up on the fuss of the demon. But yeah, hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving this week for those who celebrate. Um, I personally do, but I have a pretty small family, so we just do like a little get together, prep some food in the morning, day before. Like, nothing all the ordinary compared to the average American Thanksgiving. So, yeah, it's fun though, because food is good and uh, a lot of preparation, but it's like a week of leftovers, which is. Honestly, one of the best parts. Because I can eat turkey and green bean casserole, like, for days. Easily. And horse can... Well, our horse is welcome to anything in our inventory. So... Maybe not that. I don't think I'll like the elixir. But pizza, I'm sure of it. I'm sure they really did. Sometimes they just... Well, there's animals spawning here now. But yeah, there were a lot of chests in Breath of the Wild amidst all the chaos of guardians. So a lot of people didn't even get to see them, really. That hole looks suspicious, but not suspicious enough. Also, if there was a wall in the area, I probably would have gotten a beep for it. A reservoir. I'm also just trying to look for like chests or any little goodies because they're fun. That hmm. was wrong. Also, just speeding over hills. It's so. It's like only half janky, but just more so cool that he can, you know? Oh, and then. 
gets tripped by a divot. Also, high chest. I guess they're buried, but... <laughs> That's a very easy one to pass. Isn't it? Probably a weapon. These are super rare. I know it's like one of the weakest bows in the game, but... One, one second. These are like stupidly rare. It was the same case in Breath of the Wild. I want to see how many there are in the game. <laughs> Again, I know people have played this game. I've never seen this before and I don't blame them. Let me, let me pull up my object map. Okay. Um, oh crap. It's going to pull up old wooden bows. Uh, how do I just... <laughs> Here, so ignore all these old wooden bow because those are the tears of the kingdom ones for normal wooden bows there are wait how do i just search wooden bow by itself i, I don't know would it be like that oh there we go um one two three four five six seven it's even less or more rare than some of the regional weapons yeah there's literally only seven of them and also, wooden bows scale up, apparently? I didn't... I didn't know these scaled to anything. Yeah, like, super rare. That one's just, like, in the sky. Yeah, there's, like, a couple outside, like, the plateau in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so disinfatuated by this. I'm just like, whoa. Wooden bow. It's like, I don't need it. Even though it's attack up eight, it's like, I just don't need it, you know? But it's kind of a cool hunting bow. You know what? Sorry, Fornic. Those are more common now. I just like having unique and interesting bows. And this literally fits that for just being so rare. Like, I don't know. It's like puny, but funny. I, I always liked it a lot for no reason. Um, here, Fornic bow can go on her shield right now. You know, I can still kind of keep it with a little bit. Um, there we go. Go with the Chica stuff. It weaponizes it. There we go. All bowed out. Let's go with the Hunter bow. See, it, it's just cool. I don't know. Oh, right, this was a cork. I believe this was a chest in Breath of the Wild. It had like rocks blocking it. All right. Going to bed. Have a good night, Orca. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah. Also, on the subject of Minecraft, yeah. I. That's a game I've been playing on and off for probably the last half of my life. Uh, I think like middle school when I was like first playing it. But now I just rarely play. If I do, it's with my girlfriend. So. Viv. Hi, Viv. Um, right by wall, too. But yeah, it's fun. It's just only in moderation because like games that are like completely endless, like I can't play for too long because it just. I get very sucked in. And I have to avoid that because I could literally just live in sandbox games. Which isn't always healthy, nor do I have time for that. But they are fun. Okay, checking out little things is cool. I didn't go on top of this hill, so I assumed that there was going to be at least one thing with the Korok. I may have just assumed wrong. I really do want to find those last four wells, but yeah, besides the last stream finding that one, we haven't found any in months. Because it could have been an area that we went to before, but I just, you know, riding a well. Because obviously, you know, there's patterns like being in each of the stables and whatnot. But a lot of them are odd because uh, there were just a bunch of random wells in Breath of the Wild because the wells used to be some. Uh, like quark puzzles in that game. So those random well locations are also just normal wells to find in this game. So like, the one I always remember is uh, this one. It's just completely random in the middle of nowhere. Uh, Cause you know, it's like that next to the path where you're always going some other way. But that was like a quark seed in Breath of the Wild. And all those wells exist in this game. Even though the wells had like no significance besides Koroks in the last. And only a couple of them. The rest are like new ones. Okay. 
you know, there is something to do. Um, well, something pressing to do, rather. After we check out this, I'm gonna check out these few buildings, actually, because I do want to explore thoroughly just for loot. Um, I was gonna check out the next Addison sign location, because last stream we tried to find them all. Uh, we explored, like, all the potential areas where Addison could be to help him out. Because we're really trying to complete that. Uh, but I think I'm still one short or something. I don't know. I said that for the last 10 times, but there's like 81 locations in total. And I did find another one. And hopefully it's the last one. So we, we can check that out soon. You don't have to stop here. You can keep going. Nice. <laughs> It's not a Zelda game, but the horses can't jump fences. Which is a neat little feature. I guess he could use the wood to build like little mock houses here, even though they won't save, but. Wait, Castletown Watchtower. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a map location. <laughs> That's good, because we need map locations for 100%. I was like, I think I got them all here. Uh, yeah, Cathedral, I think East West, Water Reservoir, Quarry Ruins. But I forgot about the Watchtower. I don't think there's any more, though. Because all those need it for 100%. Okay, so I don't think there's actually, like, anything here besides the chest. <laughs> so the loot here is buried, I guess. Uh, yay, Rupee. Rooms. We'll do some sillies. <laughs> yeah, the walls typically have some stuff too, but I don't want to check every single segment. And usually it's only important ones in the castle, anyways. Oh, hello, loot. I could check to see if there's Korox here just as we're exploring it. Wait, what? Green rupee. <laughs> These guys were too broke living here. That was their whole life savings. Only get blown up by a guardian laser. Oof. I don't think I've ever seen a green rupee chest outside like mini games and uh, that one cave in the game. That's funny. Um, here, I'm gonna search Korox. Cause clearly there's gotta be one that I'm not seeing, right? Um. Okay, so at the gate there. Wait, don't tell me we just missed a bunch. We missed two, actually. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, three? We. Sorry. I didn't put it on screen because I just barely glanced because I don't. I'm going to try to find it like half naturally. We have a little glow stick on us. Okay. It looks like we missed three co Of course. Or for one, I should have checked the center, because that's a good one. I don't remember if the center of the fountain was a Korok in Breath of the Wild, too. The only Korok I know is identical from Breath of the Wild is uh, Top of the Castle. But I feel like there was also a center of the fountain one. Maybe? There was center of the Bridge of Hylia. Unless it's not that. I guess we'll see. Ah. Uh, <laughs> hello, Rock. <laughs> I thought it was going to be that or a sparkle thing. We passed this a billion times. Okay, but for the next two, I... Okay. Again, I'm going to find it, like, half naturally. <laughs> By that, I mean, I just remember approximate location. That one. What sort of pattern? I would think maybe like a sparkle trail, but that would have been too obvious. Ooh. Maybe the house? One was kind of in this area, the other one by the cathedral. I checked 
there. Yeah, that's the wall I busted down. Oh my... Oh! <laughs> there was literally a cork in the other one that we did, like, a long time ago. We literally went through here, broke the wall. Okay, so I guess these huts, which used to have chests in Breath of the Wild, are mainly meant for Korok seeds now. Uh, even after all the times we learned that overhangs are always, almost always Korok seeds. Yeah. That's why I like exploring first, ask some questions later. It's funny, we found the more hidden buried chest, so. Um, I think the next one's over here. I don't think it could be, uh... In this house? Screw it, we're using the mask. <laughs> okay. Because this one I thought I explored more thoroughly. I was looking for him, but found none. Just a bunch of chests. Okay, I wasn't quite here. Ish? Our horse is so fast now, I really like this. Ooh, a little chest. There's a ducky in there and a fish. Don't mean to take their loot. Just being a pirate. Oh, it's in the water, sapphire. I like finding these though. I'm gonna swap to... I still gotta sell this, I always forget. Royal for the royal area. Korok for the Korok. I have mucked a rock. <laughs> yeah, if you don't remove the muck, I mean, it can get very mucky. But I think the best strat with uh, um, muck a rock, there's one specific Yiga schematic that's super fun for the fight. It's called the Rainmaker. Um, you can probably look up a guide on how to get it, but it shoots like a rotating hydrant up in the air, like on a hoverstone, and it just constantly rains on the entire time. There's like no muck in the field. He just always gets weakened. It's like the ultimate Zoyan device to cheese it. And it's one that you don't even have to build, just the Yiga schematic. So we use that in our, uh, well, it was the Yiga one, yeah. Uh, it made that so, so funny and easy. Let's see, there's just chests like crazy here. Not using the chest sensor, but finding them all. Money. <laughs> it's still just fun to find. And like, I'm still using a lot of money for armor upgrades. What a wonderful zone I build. It is. Like, that's probably going to be my favorite for that reason. Because it's also good against the Queen Gibdo fights, because... Queen Gibdo's weak to elementals, and water counts for that. So, water will make Queen Gibdo weak. Which is kind of cool. Also, I forgot there's a cooking pot here just lit. The soldiers were kind of using it, I guess. Their attempt at rebuilding. So I'm screwed up. Was I not near the... Huh? Why did my mask go off? There was a, a Korok seed <laughs> right there next to the cathedral. We were there and a mask didn't go off, right? Or is it a race? It's not a race. Huh? Why didn't it go off? <laughs> also, just checking the nearby area to see anything else. There's also one. Okay. Um, one right there. Interesting. We were like right there with the cathedral and the mask, I believe. Seems to be another one on this wall. So once I just wouldn't have checked. My first experience with the gloom hands was uh terrifying. First impression was just how oh, guardians had nothing on that for the pure terror factor. Something I did not know about. Um yeah. 
It's a different type of terrifying from the Guardians, but I knew about the Guardians going into the game for Breath of the Wild because it was always advertised. But the Gloom Hands were not. <laughs> that was brand new nightmare fuel for me. Pretty cool. <laughs> Again, that's so strange. I'm wearing the Korok mask, right? And there's a Korok right there. Yeah, I'm wearing the ma Okay, this one's a flower. I see. Okay. Uh, that's a flower trail to that Korok. Never mind. Wait, but we didn't do that Korok. Are we just out of the range? Huh. I've been on top of this hill before. So I missed the flower though, okay. But the other one, I don't know, because that one should just be a Korok. This one just takes you all alongside. You're spared for now. <laughs> just know exactly where to go, I guess. Oh, I'm not there. Assumed wrong. Floor is lava. Wait, no, floor is lava. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not like arrows are a problem. Whee. <laughs> okay. See you later. Early departure. So I can't torture him. Hello. I like Joy again. I really don't need any more parts from it, I don't think, but it's always a grand sight. <laughs> Yeah, the other Korok still confuses me, because... <laughs> Who knows? Whoa! I just like these jumps when it just has such high speeds, it just does unpredictable things. I feel like it can jump longer distance too, which makes sense. You just want to canters around it's very fast. like this wall. Whoa. <laughs> and we'll always miss them. <laughs> we go past the same exact areas. Another green What? <laughs> okay, well. I couldn't assume that was going to be the only one earlier. Also, what? <sighs> That's a cheap one. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, interesting. I just felt like since I'm here, I might as well. Um, so might as well. So we did that. Um, next thing I want to do is check out the uh, Addison location. Because for those who were here last stream, we were searching all around for Addison signs. We got like a dozen of them. And I thought those were the last ones uh, until we always found another one, then another. Um, so I was using like the guidebook to find where they were. Like based on where we were on the, you know, hero's path. And there's an Addison location right here, but I didn't know if it was completed or not because, well, if you look at the hero's path, I was there. But this area also has a Korok puzzle, so I was like flying over this bit to do a Korok thing, but it wasn't actually on the ground right there. And that's where the Addison sign is. So hopefully this is the last one. Um. <laughs> oh well. Because, yeah, it's hard. At least with Koroks, it's like, you know, you can see the Korok on the map if you did it. But with Addison locations for that 100% thing or, you know, even just like the Medal of Honor stuff, killing all monsters, you can only go off the Hero's Path location. Which can be muddy because it's multi-layered maps. 
And it's only assuming that you've never skipped a single one, too. Because if you did, it'll show on the hero's path that you were there, but, you know, you didn't do the thing. So, hello. I'm going to hope that you're the last one. This is kind of like forming a natural ramp, I see. I like the pre-built parts like that. It's an easy one. I, I can use that. 81 in total, let's hope you're the last. I could add my own weight though, too. No one says I can't do this. <laughs> my Poe is just... Uh, uh. <laughs> Unforgivable. I should have added more bottom weight. I was kind of hoping that my weight would be enough. Also, you can't recall it back in place. Shame. Nor can I... Yeah. Gotta refit it through. I see this should be fine, too. Oh, yeah, maybe you can, like, stuff it. I think that's actually the point. I don't see why that wouldn't be okay. Yeah. <laughs> It was giving you the parts that you need. So just play into that. Ooh. Okay, hoping this is the last one. 81's a lot. But it feels like I've done like 150 at least. Yay. <laughs> Standing properly in place. We're gonna get some food because I have some spots now. <laughs> Rapid meatballs. Bomb. It's a bomb. Woo! Okay. Good luck. Go to other place to put up more si- <gasps> This is the last one! I was about to say, that wasn't his normal dialogue. He's like, I gotta put up more signs, usually. But he's like, now I gotta go to more places, put up more signs, wait. <laughs> Am I- All the signs! <laughs> we found the last one! Oh my god. <gasps> Woo! This is great. Oh, I did. I was hoping it would be, but we said it for the last like ten. I thought it was the last. Finally, spread the legend of President Hudson all across the land. Ah. It wasn't just me. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> yeah, mostly me. Uh, but you know what? Good job. <laughs> you were there to keep President Hudson or a sign standing. No doubt about it. Truly admire Hudson. We even built a house with him. Still not as much as I do. Damn. Very special present to thank you. I just heard about like a glider skin. Um, sure you'll love it. Interesting. It's purple. And that's a. I immediately thought of, like the horse god. Tough fabric bearing an image of Hudson. <laughs> I can't see it from this angle. Um, hand drawn by Addison. Looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Ah. <gasps> yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll go back. We'll go back there too. Oh my god. <laughs> Yay. Uh, well, in that case, yeah, let's go. First antenna, let's put that on. Because I believe, and I'm not too sure about this, um, I think that's the last glider in the game from both normal, like, vanilla stuff and amiibos. Um, I don't know the 120 Shrine reward. I don't know the Korok reward. Wait, scratch up. I don't know the cave reward. I don't know why I said Shrine. I know the Shrine reward. Uh, See, I don't know the K reward. I don't know the Quark reward. Which I don't want to know yet. I'm keeping that blind for myself. Um, but for this one, I just knew it was a paraglider. But that's very interesting. I got to see it. Imagine, imagine if it's just a PNG of his face. It, <laughs> it likely is. I. The quality is what it counts here. That, you see. Thank you, milk fabric. Maybe at the bottom? I'll probably at the top with all those. Ordinary Nostalgic, Royal, Goron, Zorok, Rudo, Sheikah, Zonai, Korok. Oh, not that one. Right in the middle. 
<laughs> Sorry. Well, that's that. <coughs> Why did I start coughing? Um, it's a groovy pattern. It's like a mosaic with uh, it's like many of them in just a very artistic sense. I never took uh, Edison to be such an artist. Is that bearing his face? I couldn't tell what it was at first. I was like, is it on the left side? That's interesting. Okay, <laughs> with the clock print, because. <laughs> Abstract arts, literally. The final glider? Groovy. <laughs> nice. I don't know, that's. It's such a unique design, I can't describe it. I like it though. <laughs> Okay, um, let's, let's go talk to Hudson and I'll... Literally a side quest that wasn't even, like, there, I guess. Just trying to wear all my purple clothes, uh... I don't have a lot of purple clothes. This is the most purpliest outfit. <laughs> Mecha bunny, I guess. No, I still like that for now. Okay, let's, let's go do that, because, you know what? How neat. <laughs> Back home. It's still the best warp. Nighttime? Goals in the dark? Hmm. I didn't know there was going to be any more goal in the dark gliders. Because, uh... Mirror of Twilight, Stalnox one? Were the other ones? I guess we'll check that out, too. <laughs> And then, yeah, I have the nostalgic fabric, too. Well, I'm pretty sure we have them all. Uh, hello, old fairy fountain. Such a cool glider. Um, I, I do have my house right there, which I could sleep on. There we go. Ah, didn't work. <laughs> Wait, let me go up the cell. No. <laughs> there we go. Double bounce. I'm not good enough to do the triple ones consistently yet. But I'm getting better. Skill all perfect. Oh, yeah, you keep going with those. Hello, bedroom. Nighttime. Let's see, I haven't found the missing wells yet. We're we're getting to it though. We have that Shiga sensor on always. Mm, clean off glasses. Also, I got new glasses. They are identical to the past ones I've been wearing for the last like four years. Um just new prescription and you know, over years my frame scratch. Whoa! That was awesome. Is there a fishy for me? <laughs> Sorry, well, I, again, again, again. <laughs> also, hello, house. Cozy. Random weapons. Let's do it again. <laughs> that is like insanely bright. I'm just like, my eyes did a double take there. <laughs> Very trendy. That's, no, even the other glow in the dark lighters aren't like that, because they're all like, you know, dark glow in the dark ones, if that makes sense. Like the Mirror of Twilight one has a lot of black colors in it. Same with the Stalnox one. <gasps> well! 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 Oh my god, it's, <laughs> it's the best day ever! <laughs> Got this cool glider, finished the Edison. Finding another well? We missed. Oh my god! Wait, where could it be though? Over there? <laughs> this is like the EDM glider. Sorry, this is just a wild series of events. Um, <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna be caught up in wells and uh, wells. Yeah. Or well to cave ratio. Three left for each once I do this. Sorry, where is uh, the man of the hour? Maybe it has to be daytime for that? I don't even know. 
I'm trying to talk to you. Ma. Okay. Dream home. Ma. I'm sorry. Right. I don't remember seeing Madison in Gerudo Town. Mm. Hope she's doing well. Well. <laughs> All's well. <laughs> See? They're all foreshadowing the well. Also, is Hudson down here? He's got to be somewhere special. I'm just turning off the wall radar for now. Um. All oh, right, he's talking to Kilton. Monster sculptures. Uh, here I'm just gonna skim that if you don't mind. I'm not trying to talk. I need to find... Maybe at the front of the village because of the sign. <gasps> so Hawks in chat. Hello, Hawks. <laughs> there is the attention you didn't ask for. <laughs> um, You know what? Start at the beginning. Could be at the start. Because signs. I'm thinking of any location with the sign. Also, does this change anything? Because... <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I gotta use the glider again though, because that was literally crazy. Just glows up the screen. Yeah, is this an Addison sign? No. But I forgot that it has a new sign because of the upheaval. That's kind of a cool detail. Okay. So if Addison's not here, Addison's gotta be. And the lore portion, maybe? Addison's not in terror. Wait, but didn't Addison say... Addison's not here. Well, that's weird. <laughs> he was literally talking about meeting Hudson here, and then just like... Because the interaction already happened without me. I know likely at the stables then, but... uh check that afterwards so I gotta find this well that's uh well that's exciting yeah it's not in the town portion it's how did I miss that our fourth to final well in the game was it like just here <laughs> also oh my god you can move the uh, bridge in this house Put below huh Oh my god. Construction site. Oh my god, because it's a cave! I remember this. We couldn't fully explore it. It's like... Wait. I guess I guess we'll see in a moment then. There's like an area I couldn't get to from that cave. Is that what this is? Well, that's a something. That's why we have this. Go Cannon Club. President of the Cannon Club. All right. Yeah, now we're in the cave. Oh my God. The secret is uh, rising. Sorry for th this is a close range blast. We gotta treat it as such. Oh, I can't take... Bye-bye. <laughs> little bomb parry. Clear it out. Close range. No damage to me. Oh. That interrupted the button press. Oops. Timing's got to be just right. Whoa. Little zone I ruin. Ta-da. <laughs> just a couple little things. But yeah, one cave side was there. The other one was there. It just loose parts, I guess. But more so, I'm just happy that I finally have closure with that. I was always thinking about that. I'm like, there's gotta be something nearby, but I'm just not finding it. A very minor thing, but yippee. I think it's spent more resources in blowing up those walls than what the capsules were worth. That's neat. I, I'm happy to have closure. 
Um, so I guess just three more wells and three more caves. Interesting. You know, we're in the area with other caves I haven't found. Because... Yes. As far as I'm theorizing, because most of the Colton locations I'm talking to won't give us cave things. Besides this one. So the last few times I talked to him, he gave us a new location. I wonder where the other ones could be then. I'm guessing at least one or two of those is like completely just random, just in the middle of, eh, like right there or something. Well, one of them's probably close to a town. Just like that, that's easy to miss. This feels nice. Just trying to talk to this guy before morning. Go on top, find some Koroks. I've actually never been up before. Because <laughs> climbing was an option. Alright. Very fine. Three bubble frogs. <gasps> oh no! Okay, the last three are somewhere else, I guess. At least we know it's not in this area, but it'd be nice to know where. The other ones are here. I'm gonna look up Colton locations. Colton. There is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I checked most of them recently. Yeah, I think I remember checking all of them. He said there was none, but. I know there's got to be some other trick to it. Also, bye bye, Corox, too. <laughs> yeah. Was it the central or. Hmm. Maybe the Atena one? I don't know, actually. Central Hateno. Damn, I, I need to find this cave somehow, so. Best warp should be... Oh, one right there. <laughs> oh, I should cook a turkey. It should be raw whole bird. We do have one, so... I guess a fresh one's always nice. Also, yeah, will you be watching the Game Awards live? I'm not too sure. I... I watched them live for quite a few years in a row, but I didn't last year, I don't believe. I just don't think I have enough interest, really, because it's... Um, I'm seeing awards and some speeches are cool, but... I feel like a lot of it's just like very like over budget trailers of games that I really don't care about, you know? Like, I know a lot of people hold up for like the possible Nintendo news or whatever, uh, but Nintendo really doesn't do anything special to Game Awards anymore. Like they used to, when like the Breath of the Wild hype was big uh, many years ago. Like they did so much, they did like big announcements and trailers and gameplay showcases. Uh, but Nintendo doesn't really do anything with Game Awards besides, well, the awards that they receive. So. Also, this is such an amazing sky. So that I basically did everything in the sky already. So we only come up just, you know, for a warp here and there. Oops. My shield trick isn't gonna work. I can't do parries when, uh... Or wait. I thought of an awesome strategy. I like that. If we hit the fire... You guys need to go. <laughs> oh, that's actually a dumb strategy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna be a normal person for like a moment. So those parries are good with like bombs or dazzle fruits. I am so glad I... <laughs> Oops. Technical. Colton pilgrimage, basically. Oh, fabric is so nice. 
getting tears for Christmas. Excited because you learned so much from me. Thank you. I'm. I hope you enjoy. It is really a phenomenal game. So. It is always so much to experiment with, and that's one of the things I really liked about Breath of the Wild. But Breath of the Wild was cool because you're experimenting with uh, a limited selection of tools and a crazy amount of ways. But in this game, you have a crazy amount of tools for an even crazier amount of experimentation. So it just really elevates that in a unique way. I also miss some of the stuff from Breath of the Wild, but then again, it's just more reasons to go back to Breath of the Wild. So. Oh, hello, Star. You can get one a night. As long as you don't pick up the ones from, uh, like, the ones that naturally fall, that you pick up on the ground. I notice when you get those, sometimes it delays, uh, the falling ones happening for a few nights. I'm not sure why, but it does. It's weird. So I always try to get the skydive ones. Because if you get the normal ones, like the ones that were in Breath of the Wild, that fall on the ground somewhere. For some reason, I can't get the skydive ones for, like, a few nights. No bubble frogs there. I think... I think we'll try this one then. That's strange. I wonder why he's... Okay. I thought I checked most of these. Maybe the update after, you know, some time. Who knows? That's just weird, though. Hopefully some of the caves aren't out of, aren't out of the ranges that he exists in. One second, we're gonna look up like locations. Colton. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's the same eight that appears there. Doesn't matter. Okay. So two of them didn't have it. Oh yep, yeah, that's falling star fragment we just saw. If I pick that up, it'll delay the amount of time before I can get the next free, like free fall one. I don't know why it works that way. Who knows? <laughs> It's easier to farm off if you just don't get those and just get the free fall ones once per night. Because you could literally just make a campfire, make it nighttime, get another free fall one somewhere else. As long as it's not in the same area where you got the last one. Go fries. Of course, the sure are cute. My right, map percentage, 87.47. That's pretty good. We're nearing that 90. Get anywhere from like half percent to a little over a percent per stream. Depends how many like quarks we're getting, because, you know. Nah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. Percentage is the only game with quarks and map locations um, at this point. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you have, though? Rolling pastures. Friend seems to be enjoying it too. I'm not looking at you. But you can't even see where my eyes are. I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> and a pretty mane. Oh, from Hateno. It's cool, like more of these guys spawn around all the time. Yeah. That's cool. Some of these trainers are really good. And the more you play the game and talk to people and do quests, you see more. We don't need that stuff though. Oh yeah, what's strange is about how it shows Shika technology when teleporting, but other Shika tech's been removed. So, the main reason why, um, at least what they're saying is that's just after Breath of the Wild finished, most of the Shika tech that was naturally in the world just vanished because it fulfilled its purpose of being there. It was meant to counter the Calamity, and since the Calamity is like extinguished in Breath of the Wild, most of it just, you know, fizzles out in the same way that Link teleports away, you know? It's just never fully seen or explained. Because it's just kind of like, you know, with one force going away, the corresponding force falls with it. So. Um, the only stuff that stayed is like stuff that was more recently worked on. So like, there's still like the ancient blades, I guess. Um, 
because they're more like a byproduct of recently and like the Pira pad. So the stuff that they were actively working on is assumed to have stayed, but the stuff directly from the past vanished away. So they said that like in an interview, so which makes sense. It's just kind of like, you know, the era ended. She could attack and do crazy things, whatever. I get it. And they didn't want to focus too much on that point in this game because they weren't trying to highlight too much of Breath of the Wild lore in this. They'll give like little tidbits, like if you go to like the Tennel School. But if they always have people talking about what happened to the Sheikah technology, it would be, you know. I don't know. Not enough individualized. Because I mainly like Zelda games because they're all very individual to what they are. Like even this being a sequel, it's like. It's still mostly Tears of the Kingdom, like story wise. Uh, very few hints from Breath of the Wild still remain. And Zelda games are meant to be like legends, you know, they're all kind of separate from each other, but all part of one greater thing. If they keep cross referencing each other too much, like all the time, it'll be more like an Elder Scrolls game or like Skyrim or something. Where just like there's always this connecting lore and you gotta learn more about it. So yeah, I'm fine with the way they did it. <laughs> I'll say make the turkey. We'll, we'll make the turkey. I can't forget because I will. All right. We're a nice Thanksgiving turkey in this cold. It's realistic November temperature for some people. Big bird. <laughs> Not a lot, but en enough. And you got to deep fry it. Fried chicken, fried turkey. <laughs> We actually had equal amounts of chicken as we do oil. A match made in heaven. We're made in Thanksgiving. Look, we got all of our pals, minerals in our pockets. Deep fried bird. Celebratory feast. Here we are. It's a fitting one. Oops. Gotta sort by food. <laughs> now we just have two of the same type. That'll go down nicely later. I see a new head cannon. Link ate all the sheep attack. His stomach is Hyrule's garbage disposal. That's why I never see landfills. So, well, I guess there's like one minor one, but Link just didn't get to that yet. The one that's, I don't know, kind of by the Grudo Highlands. One shot, one kill. Um, they're shooting a tree. This guy's unfazed. Now he's phased. <laughs> he tumbles. Oh, help. Woo! <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Oh, they got the big guns after him. Break the cards. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> really a break. <laughs> he made a break for it. Ow. Ow. Very ouch. <laughs> There's enough prep to. Before he shoots another shot. Ow. You're dead. All right. Sidon, get over here. Oh. This is a job for Sidon. Thank you. And now, for our grand finale, we're just gonna water splash you. <laughs> it's a great one. <laughs> the water effect lasts for a long time. Ow. Oh no! Oh no is right. The tow horse. I'm so sorry. This is the end for you. <laughs> Explosive finale. What do you think you're doing? Next shot. <laughs> no! My guts! I worked hard for that. And Pikmin part. Okay. Wait, first get this so we can get a reward. If you wait too long, they forget. We, we waited too long. <laughs> they already forgot who I am. It's fine. I guess I'm not a hero who wants to be remembered. I'm just a hero who wants to eat. I wanted food. I know. <gasps> Bear! That's food. I can be bad. Here. Sorry. Need a temporary horse just for this. 
Tink. He's dancing. Ooh. And the salmon. Forgot that's a good source of that. Two bone ends and all that. You know, this is the best hunting location, but uh The animals don't spawn unless you done the wind temple, because the blizzard. So it's kind of a cool lore reason that plays in the gameplay too. Yeah. So yeah, you gotta do the wind temple to be able to hunt ha. here. Because there's like no animals otherwise. Ooh. These are also not as bad. <laughs> but on a sadder note, yeah, they removed the uh the rhinos, sadly. Um... Right, I gotta go here. Still looking for Colton. <laughs> yeah. They removed animals. I think it's just the rhinos and something else. I just remember rhinos for sure. Hmm. Who's my favorite musician? I like the Stable Trotters from Tears of the Kingdom. Because uh, there's no better playing that anyone can do than the Stable Trotters. <laughs> Best songs. And Cass. You know what? No, actually Cass. I think that's the proper answer, regardless of the context. Also, there's three Koroks around here, and I got none of them. You know what? It's time for a bit of speed. The speed we need to do the deed. And then a bit of apples. <laughs> Link the glutton. Let's do this first and search for Colton. Yeah, why rhinos? No idea. Uh, but they're just removed. They're just a, you know, an animal in the snowy reaches. They're kind of cool. Nothing too special, but... I guess that's how it be. Uh-oh. I just got the speed buff ready to go on foot. It's over there! <laughs> Does it want us to all train or something? <laughs> Wait, so is this one a different one? Who knows? Yeah, I just got the speed buff and everything. Okay, it gives us two wheels, a steering stick. It wants us to build the worst thing ever, doesn't it? I think I'm just gonna work with that. I'm a bit higher class. Hmm. You know, I have a better plan. <laughs> we'll come back, don't worry. Because, yeah, this area should have a Korok, which <laughs> implies that there's a Korok in the center of all this. Unless I just pinned it wrong. I think I just pinned it wrong. Yeah, let's let's look at our pins really quick. Korox. Wait. Did I? <laughs> Unless I just passed it. I did! It's it's hiding. Oh wow, that was crafty. <laughs> I'll say I should probably do that first. <laughs> yeah, how does Link get healed by eating 19 apples down his throat? Well, because an apple a day keeps the doctor away and he can uh, delay his appointment by 19 days. So, you know what? That averts any medical crisis. Yippee. <laughs> Walk thing is all the way up there. That's fine. We're st we're still doing it. This is all part of the puzzle. You gotta go there first. It's just what goes on in my mind when he's on that speed three food. Yeah. 
He's over that way. We see him. Wonder what happened. But no biggie. Because we pull out our best range bow. Zonite in this case. It's no ancient bow, but it's still nice. We put on a simple steak. Oh, we have to redo it. Okay, that's nice. Just to make sure it's not like screwed up. Let's do a few, I guess. That's better. Because then I said the angle's wrong and then it doesn't place, and. Well, you need that to place. I think I missed that first shot. Yeah, if it goes like too at an odd angle, then it won't work. Okay. Your vehicles would have been weird here. Wow. <laughs> ah, no, no. <laughs> I'm the best musician after that freestyle. <laughs> Just the random noises I make when I'm running or, <laughs> I don't know, self-stimulation. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I didn't see that stake. So if it's too far, it just despawns right away, so. Helps to get those slightly closer ones. Like this. <laughs> On the Korok? Why not? Oh. If it actually works. Working would be cool. I'm a fan of working. Wait, what? Why'd it go like that? Huh? It didn't save the history. Is it because we just rattle it too much beforehand? This is supposed to be a shortcut, not a long cut. Or does it calculate the time when he's already like... What the? Huh? Why did you just disconnect him? <laughs> That's so weird. This is like my strategy, typically. Unless I didn't pay attention. Go. <laughs> it's like on its own thing. So we can grab it. This would have been so much faster just doing it the normal way, I guess. That's why we got off that first hard part of the hill. And if you need to climb a little bit, it's easy because you can just stake it and then do some climbing. See? Not that bad. But yeah, these are really better if you're just trying to go like straight up, honestly. <laughs> Not like, yeah, all this way. I'm surprised we're still finding so many of these. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. So that I stream today it means no stream on Wednesday? Yeah, because of the holiday. So I'm going to be busy around Thanksgiving. So that's the only reason. But uh, yeah, um, basically just going to be enjoying the holidays, which I hope you all do the same uh, for those who celebrate this week. Um, and then, yeah, basically... uh into the grander holiday season to the end of the year. Uh, working on some other video projects. Um, I'm working on a stats video currently, then uh, the next challenge run will be up. So, those are my two final projects for the year. Because again, video editing slash research takes a while, so. But regardless, we got our last video out yesterday, and uh, thank you to those who saw it, because it was a fun cooking adventure. It's going to be a little bit in spirit with that today. So yeah. 
Again, the Korok pattern. You're trapped. <laughs> no, thank you. Every single one of these, as far as I'm concerned. I never knew until I pretty much fought all of them already, so it's like, great. <laughs> yeah. But regardless, hope everyone's having fun today. Um, it's nice to be able to chat and stuff. And, well, you can just find this glider and everything and do fun stuff in the game, as always. Fool around, get completion. Yay. <laughs> and one day, it'll be 100 percent <laughs> That's not a well, but bombs are fun. That is some pretty good damage against the silver. These must be the powerful bomb barrels. Here. You get nudged by your friend a little bit. Oh, or by me. I'm not your friend. He wants to be my friend. Please. Ow. The boss. How did the boss become and get me from there? That literally cued the music. Oh, so he's able to chuck boulders, but he can't do anything else. Okay. One of these hits on him. I don't care who does it. Here, you guys get the little fry. I'll get the big one. That's fine, too. The waters. Oh my god. It didn't boomerang because of that. But that's fine. <laughs> Quick draw. Good range. It's the best for that. Oh. <laughs> All of his loot was down. Let's see. This is going to be good selling stuff because I know we just have a lot. Anything over 300 I've been nuking. Which honestly might come close now with the silver parts. <gasps> that's crazy. That's a little too crazy. All lined up. Oh, they're all trying to bolt. That's actually not a bad strategy. If you, uh, well, just unbox or untrap that one guy first, then all the goblins chase him. I also want to heal up a little bit. You have to quick draw and everything. <laughs> Literally, our healer weapon. We're down quite a few hearts and. I will be clenched. <laughs> Heal up. <laughs> nice. Stop the charge. Get the bot. Just like this, we'll go. <laughs> Little shock cage. We could have just put it like a shock emitter on it, because we're evil. There you go. Stick. <laughs> That's all I gotta do. For infinite torture. <laughs> we should have started the fight with that, but... Oh yeah, you... We'd have to put a battery in it, otherwise it won't work. <laughs> He's trying to, like, push the cage to me. Hello. Oh, he can suffer in the background. See, there you go. That's perfect revenge. Unhero-like for us, but... Yeah. It's entertaining. Yummy. Ooh, meat and mushroom skewer. And elixir, okay. You know, I do like these, because we run out of stamina at stupid times. Oh. The cage one! Oh, right, because that, that was the cage he was attached to. The other cages wouldn't have done that. Like those ones. But I guess that cage, yeah, despawns after. Well, good to know for later. Also, yeah, I love this weapon because, again, we use Soldier Spear because it has quick, like, natural quick charge. So it's it's the most hits per second out of any weapon. 
Okay. You're still getting shocked. Okay. <laughs> a little shock blade. <laughs> Connected. All right, because the emitter is uh, conduct electricity. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Don't drop it on your head. Makes your head smaller. That's electrocuted. Um, oh yeah, I was in the middle of like searching for Colt and stuff, and then I'm all in the middle of this. So I'm like, wow, a million different things you can do. Oh, you know what it is? It's definitely that reverse puzzle. There's a lot of them around Lake Hylia. Like that one was kind of close by, but um, there's this one. I think there's there's like two identical puzzles right there, like in this area. And again, Breath of the Wild had the same, because these are all from Breath of the Wild. Sadly, too long ago to be able to recall. <laughs> and the Gliak badges, those are nice. Um, also, please don't spam things, but uh, what is my favorite game? Favorite game... Well, besides Zelda stuff, because obviously this and Breath of the Wild are my favorites, but favorite non-Zelda game? Easy in uh, Mario Odyssey, I would have to say. Because one, it has a connection to me because it came out the same year as Breath of the Wild. Um, and that was just a really great year for gaming for me. Um, that's not the reason why I like it the most. It's just the fact that it's a phenomenal game. I love all the worlds and different transformations. Uh, the whole capture mechanic is very fun. Super iconic soundtrack. Um, the main story is really good, but it also just has a really great post game too. So I feel like out of all the main like platformer Mario games, that one it's not only the best, but also just lasts you the longest too because there's just a crazy amount of content in that game. It's a very fun collectathon. It's just it's just awesome. You know, Mario games always have that good charm, and that's what makes them fun. <laughs> also nice. But yeah. Also, just like really experimental games, and that's why I like Zelda stuff, like these two, and Odyssey. That just fell. Was there a. There wasn't, okay. Yeah, in terms of gaming years, because I also really think about this. Um, like, 2017 was my favorite gaming year for a long time. Specifically because Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, like, my two favorite games. Up till Tears joined that, too. Um, but honestly, now it might have to be this year. Because, obviously, Tears of the Kingdom is amazing. And just the fact of Mario Wonder being out, which I really like that. I like it for similar reasons. Just very inventive levels and wondrous mechanics. And just all the weird trippy stuff is very fun. Um, but also Pikmin 4. Pikmin 4 is phenomenal. I've loved the series for a very long time. 3 was one of my favorite games ever. Um, but, you know what? I have my little rock Pikmin guy. Just to show how much I love Pikmin. So, 3 of my favorite Switch games ever. And just games ever, too. Came out this year. Really good games. <laughs> Odyssey was your first Switch game. Has a special place in your heart. That's such a great starter game for a Switch. No bubble frogs, that's sad. We checked almost all of his locations and... Nope, not a zip. I'm gonna check the last few, we're gonna check the one here. <sighs> um, we played any tabletop games or physical games? Not really, when I was younger some, but um, I don't know, because even the funny thing, as much as I'll talk about games and I'll play games here, I don't play a ton of games recently. It's mostly like a few good Nintendo games, which is quite a bit this year. Also some fun indie games. Uh, I like stuff like Undertale and uh, Amori is really good and uh, Hollow Knight's also really fun. But yeah, besides Nintendo and a lot of distinct indie games, I don't play a lot of games personally. Um, Recently, just got a lot more into shows, uh, got more into anime, um, specifically just a few good ones. Um, I mentioned before, but I really like JoJo's, I like One Piece is really fun, I've been watching it as a few months ago. Um, 
and Attack on Titan. So those three shows have had my last few years. So, but all very worth it. Oh yeah, and also the Breaking Bad shows. Not animes, but I like those a lot. Bubble yeah. gems. <laughs> Okay, he doesn't have one. Oh, but for games, though, yeah, I am going to play the new Mario RPG. I haven't gotten to it yet because I'm still, uh, well, a little busy, but I will pick up Mario RPG and play it because I heard it's fun. I like, like, the old school Paper Mario, so, well, not really the same, but Mario RPG in that realm. Um, here, I'm going to search Colton's name because it's bigger. Okay, so which locations did and didn't we check? So we did that one, that one, that one. I'm not sure that one, that's just a starting location, I think. But we can still check it, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I think it's just a starting location, but I wouldn't really know then. <laughs> See, Attack on Titan gun. I liked like the first few episodes of Sword Art Online, then I wasn't a big fan of it. Like the first arc was pretty fun. So it's hard with animes because I feel like there's like a few that really grasp me and then the rest is just like, okay, it's fun, but I, I'm i more so the person that just really holds on to the things I really like. And uh, yeah, there isn't enough hours in the day to watch or play everything. Oh yeah, Colton. On the map, he's up here, but I'm not sure if he actually appears. So. Also, have I done an Odyssey stream yet? I have, uh, Mario Odyssey. Um, it was on, well, it's currently on my VODs channel, because we did it on Twitch, but it was about a year ago. Um, we just played through the game, we did a lot of the moons, but, um, it was kind of a fun thing. It was Mario Odyssey, but I wore the, the different hats from each ki kingdom, so I actually had, like, a like a Sand Kingdom hat that I wore, and like a dinosaur hat for that one. So like, I don't know, I just have a bunch of hats because I like hats. So I wore those hats on stream, just to go with the kingdom. It was really fun, I don't know, I just, I like Odyssey, and uh, I got in spirit for it. It was like pseudo Halloween, kind of, around that time. Also looks like Col Colton's not here. <laughs> And yeah, the glider is an amiibo. The glider is from getting all Addison signs, which we just did today. I'm surprised those today, honestly. Okay, I guess we'll check the final one. I We checked it before and he didn't say there were any. So there might be some of them out of the zones. Check on Addison. Oh, Addison at the stable. Crap. Oh, we... After this. Sorry. We're at, like, two stables. But do I like Kirby games, though? Funny, I'm not a huge Kirby game person. Uh, I think they're kind of fun, but... Kirby in the Forgotten Land, though, was incredible. Uh, that was one of my favorite Switch games. Uh, it's it's fun, because the game's, you know... Like, it starts, like, pretty lighthearted, like most Kirby games do. Uh... The way it builds is really fun into the finale, just completely kind of changing the tempo of it. Um, but no, I like, well, on top of all the transformations, you got like the multiple mode, so you can like be a car or be like a vending machine, and that stuff's goofy. Um, but you know how games have like one little thing that kind of sells it for you? Like it can just be like one random mechanic or whatever. Like maybe for Breath of the Wild, it was like the climbing mechanic or something. Um, well, for Kirby, there was, like, a really cool, uh, hidden, like, dodge move you can do. It's kind of like how, like, a flurry rush works in this game. It, it's never required for any of the game, but if you do, like, a cool, like, dodge roll, you can, like, slow it on time really quick and, like, attack bosses differently. And it made the combat in that game just super cool. Just, like, such a minor thing. The game never tells you how to do it. Um, but if you, like, crouch and move your analog stick, it'll do, like, a little dodge roll that can be, like, a flurry rush. So, it's really cool, and... That's honestly one of the reasons why I really like it. So, on top of everything else. But it's those little things that count, you know? So, I think that's fair. Let's see it. Mr. 
Okay. If he's not here, then yeah, um, our theory from earlier must be correct that there are some caves outside the zones that he tells you where they are. Maybe each of these correspond to a cherry blossom re region? Nope, okay. So there might be a cherry blossom region where he's not here. So I'm gonna look at where the cherry blossom regions are. Um, so I believe I have a map. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So as we see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight cherry blossoms, but there's only seven Addison location. Or did I say Addison? Colton, there's so many names. <laughs> Okay. You know, that's interesting. So which of these regions does not have Colton at all? I'm glad I took a picture of this. Um, but also, it's hard to go by, because, like, look how awkward this is. Like, um, oh, wait, no, never mind. That isn't one. Okay. So this is the Elden one. We see that one, right? Um, tree there. That's the... Uh, this still counts for Lonero, because he did give Lonero locations. Um, you know, it could be Satori Mountain, right? He's not around Satori Mountain at all, which would make the Satori Mountain tree just make more value. Yeah, because this... Yeah. Wait, I think... There's just a region that he doesn't tell you where they are. And he's not in the Satori Mountain region, because maybe he wants you to use that... The tree for that, you know? That's a good point I never considered. So... Um. <sighs> also, is Edison's Paraglider skin the only one in-game that's glow in the dark? Um, the Stalnox fabric is too. And that one's... I believe you just have to take a picture of a Stalnox and give it to the guy. <laughs> also, again, I gotta talk to Addison, uh, speaking of that. We will, don't worry. I'm just going everywhere right now. Also, do I like Skyward Sword's Joy-Con mechanic? I love it. Um, or Wiimote originally, you know, the motion controls. No, it makes the sword play feel super unique and... A lot of it's based on like that directional uh, combat, but it plays really well into that. So, yeah, we uh, we we played the HD remake when that came out. Um, I really like the game, but not just for that. I also just really love the dungeons. I think the game probably has one of the best dungeons. So, plus anything dealing with the desert in that game is like some of my favorite stuff in Zelda, just in general. But that has like a lot of golden apples. Three golden apples on this one tree. I don't know. Not all reachable. Sword and shield. That's fine. We were here recently, so not all of them respawned. A bit of everything, you know. Okay. And yeah, in terms of Pokemon, I uh, the only one I played through completely was uh, the recent one, Scarlet Violet. I did have fun with it. It's not really my type of game, but it's like I'm glad I played that one because it does have like a fun open world to explore, and I like the whole like. You know, mountain mechanic. We get to ride around and then upgrade it so th throughout the game. Ugh. But it was fun. I know they play very similar to each other, so it's like I just only really want to play one or two ever. Yeah, I'm not a huge RPG person unless it's like a really unique, like Undertale or Paper Mario.
All right, you can click the apples with Ultran just to make drop some. That is a way to pluck them, which is nice. Like a hand, extra reach. Um, Minor is like the most efficient in terms of time, I guess. Yeah, I guess for those few apples you could pluck if you don't want to cut down the tree. Minerva is time efficient uh, and resource efficient, obviously. You're not wasting anything to get the apples. But if you do want to use resources, you could use a blizzard rod equivalent. Because that shakes off all the apples. But it requires durability, of course. Okay. These areas... Um... So I guess the caves must be over here. Want to make a horse follow you? Fuse an apple to a shield? It will follow you as long as you don't go far away. Really? That's kind of silly. I, that's something I haven't tried. Let's see. I'm hoping that this works. I'm. I believe all the. Well, my theory is that all the uh, Satori Mountain regions, or Cherry Blossom regions, correspond to where a Colton tells you things are. The Coliseum Ruins had a cave, of course. Um, there's a cave. Yep, Satori Mountain Cave, of course. What is that structure? Is that the Coliseum? Yeah, it is Coliseum, just hazy. <laughs> Oops. Um, one, like, right in front of me. Yeah, okay. Tree Stump Sage Ruins. I'm looking for three caves, so that's a bit of caves. I believe I remember those two caves by the guy. Are those the two I'm looking at, though? That one's like there. Yep, that one's up there. Okay. That cave. We never went to this mountain where the tower was in Breath of the Wild. Huh. It's the heroine statue. Wait a second. A heroine statue. Um, shelf cave. So we saw all these. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a trek. <laughs> Hmm. There we go. Interesting. It's like... I assumed, yeah, that Colton wouldn't tell us about this. Is there like a cluster of caves all near each other? That could be the same with the wells, right? Like, <laughs> where else am I going to find this stuff? One may never know. I'm going nightly. Oh, it's no longer night. Can't be a night without the night. Is stuff visible from the sky? Hmm. Yeah, I just assume that Colton wouldn't give you locations here. Because, you know, he's not there. You know, I'm going to look it up. Uh, one second. <laughs> Put it on screen in a second. Uh, I'm basically typing in, do Colton regions correspond with cherry blossoms? Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of Reddit threads. Um, okay, people are finding locations that Colton can't sense. Uh, I had four left and these were the four. <laughs> Ross Pro Pass Cave? Ross Pro... I'm going to look up where that is. Uh, Ross Pro Pass. Hmm. 
One second. It should be up here. Ro Rossboro Pass. <laughs> um, sorry. There's probably just a very. Oh wait, no. That should be in here, right? Wait, what? Or is that by the Skyview Tower? Rossboro Path. Wait! Rossboro Path? There should be a cave here. There's a cave here? Ah, oh, man. Sorry, I, I at least wanted to find one cave today. <laughs> we found a well. Yes, yeah, so I guess this is out of the, the, the Colton range. Which is a shame because Colton's literally in this region, just on this north end. I guess I'll take your word for it, but... <gasps> well! Well, well! No way, two wells in one day? It's gotta be somewhere totally random. We found one yes or last stream too. Here what? Right out Oh wow. Was this even a one from Breath of the Wild? <laughs> Dronix Pass, well uh Dronix Pass. <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. I just came here for the possible cave location. Well, well, well. <laughs> There's a tree. I'm bright. Oh, is it one of these cooking caves? It is. There's like a chef who boarded up in a bunch of caves. Or wells, specifically. Yeah. What are they cooking down here? Bitter cold is making my eyes glaze over. I fear my time is almost up. Oh, the sautéed peppers. Just cooking up peppers. Fairly certain sautéed peppers are cold resistant. Oh, it wasn't resistant enough, probably. Oh, that's why. Because he down one, down them with the drink that wasn't sautéed peppers or spice. You can't mix durations. <laughs> Failure is the amuse, amuse boucher, b boucher uh, of learning, and I, Chef Aritamu, have eaten my share. Journey to culinary mastery continues. Fearless of failure. <laughs> it's funny, he was just like a, he had a cookbook in Breath of the Wild. Now, you see his story, I bet. Through his undisclosed wells. There we go. Interesting, I... <laughs> That might be the last one. There's only two more wells then, right? Yeah. Crazy. Wait, three more wells. Wait. Two. How many wells? Wait. Because we were down to four earlier today, right? Yeah, because it was five for the longest time. We found one last stream. And then found two today. I just can't fathom that. I want to change. Interesting. Well, that's... That's cool. One plus one. Plus one. Yeah. It sucks cold and can't sense everything, but... Well, at least it was helpful for a while. Cause not like we're going to have that sense for the wells. Man, finding those last two is going to be tough. Because that was... It was kind of in the middle of nowhere. Enough, because it's like, you don't go through this pass a lot. But where was this cave? There's got to be a list somewhere. I just haven't found it of all caves that Colton can't search. It's probably easier to do it that way and look for the lights, because that, that can be hard. 
Okay, I'm gonna search Bubble Frog. I doubt there's another well here. Cause yeah, every cave means there's a bubble frog, right? So. Uh oh. Yay! <laughs> bear, bear, bear. Okay, bear witness. Uh, no salmon that time. It's cool, we got two of the bone in ones with the salmon. <gasps> bubble frog! I feel like this is one of the caves that you're supposed to hit for like the ascent with like Tulin. If I just missed it, you know? Maybe it's through here, but our sensor isn't telling us. You know, I'm gonna wear the snow boots because I would like to actually move, you know? Please, please. I keep doing this. Oh, that's not snow boots. <laughs> that's okay, I do this to myself all the time. I will, I'll learn very slowly. It's above the masks. Okay. Never, like, pointed that out to myself. And we're just pointing to the bubble frog, not the cave entrance. I feel like it's up here, you know? <gasps> Aha! It's a quest, too! We haven't found a quest in ages! Yeah, I was like, it's literally a path that's very easy to miss. We just always knew that this was the up path, because Breath of the Wild. And the path you're supposed to take for the Wind Temple segment. Oh my god, quests? We we haven't done a quest in even way longer since we found those last few wells. We've been at 128 for the longest time. Uh, okay, Ben, you gotta be kidding me. How do you get inside? This is gonna be a tricky quest. Completely blocked off. What do you do? <laughs> Call it a day a wash, or, you know, this entire time. <laughs> How long have you been standing here? I'm switching back to wells, because you know where the cave is. Yep. <laughs> Where's Yanobo? Oh wait, was that him? It was! Who needs bombs when you have a bomb man? Ooh, salt. See, these are free, but I have my own meads. Ooh. Nice. Do you have anything to add? Look at the cave! Yeah, <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. Sentient rocks. Is that it? So your token of gratitude, red rupee. Ah. Wow. Check the food's good. Best breath of the wild, or <laughs> best tears of the kingdom quest reward. Red rupee. That's literally the quest sometimes. Just that. You never expect good rewards. You just like helping people, which is okay. more. The food seems safe. What what food? Ah. Oh, just these crates. <laughs> Do you need a hand? We got a we got a gore on here and a mineral. But you got it. You're independent warriors. <laughs> Interesting. Does this lead to the other cave or this is kind of cool, though. <laughs> Just, yeah, warm place to stay. That's like right by the other cave. Crazy. But there we go. Third to last bubble gem. Only two more left. 101 is the final count we'll reach. He's like in armor or something. <laughs> I'm gonna pick him up with mineral. 
Not quite. Interesting. Yeah, they're just little caves. And the path leads... Oh. So that's interesting. So if you take this route, I assume if you send out of the cave, you'll be taken straight to the next cave. Because I know they do those tricks around uh, these main regions. Like one, cle one cave leads to the next. So this is technically the first cave of the Rito Ascent. I assume we'll just lead right there. Yeah, quite literally leads right there. And this is a big cave. I really like that one. But yeah, that shrine will be up there. That one's not connected to a cave, so you just got to do it whenever. But interesting. That's awesome that we found it. So, yeah, two more caves left. Two more wells. Um, not only ten more side quests. But one of them is the cave, obviously. Or the wells one. So. Oh, actually good that we did that. So I can be like that. Nice. Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. I need to break it so we can start recharging for the next one. Well, that's awesome. You know, it's happy to finally see that in even like a quest because I'm not even sure we're going to find the other nine, to be honest. I th I think revisiting stables. Speaking of which, I got to do that because uh, I said I was going to. Um, yeah. I think revisiting stables will have quests after the pen quest because there were some follow-ups. Like there was like a chicken quest after you do the... Uh, one where the people got sick off the food. Um, but I'm pretty sure that one only happens or starts after you help that one, like the pen quest. Okay. Maybe it's not this one. Am I still in well just in case? Because I don't. Well, help. That'll be hard to find. I'm here. Well, pull the cherry blossom map. Oh, there's a picture quest! <laughs> That's what I just forgot to do in general. How did I forget a picture quest? I did like all of them. Okay, what is it? Uh, picture of a cherry. Oh, a cherry blossom picture. Do we have one? <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Ah. 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 Uh, figured maybe I kinda took one in frame, but I don't actually think so. Okay. It has to be anyone. Like there was one for a geoglyph, so it just had to be a geoglyph, didn't matter. Uh we'll probably be using those to find more. Colton ones. Pew. Oh my god. Is he just add all these? It's you. <laughs> Thanks for helping me put all those signs up. <laughs> Go back to the town. Done by the sweet sounds of the stable, stable trotters. So you never made it there. That explains a lot. To listen enough for their music to give them a report. Was it the pose? <laughs> Silly. When I stand like this, I feel completely at ease. <laughs> Cause the sign. <laughs> feel them watching over me. Yeah, supporting something else. <laughs> ah, supporting. He supported signs. Now he's supporting a band. <laughs> Provide support without your help. Is that what he just does now? <laughs> so I said he has a permanent fan now. Just like Beetle. He's at every single one. Hello, Beetle. <laughs> Brent, that was awesome. Uh, no, I, I can't believe that we found uh, another cave, two more wells, another qu two more quests. Um, we got the glider today. <laughs> it's always the streams where I'm like not intending to. Like, the whole point with today was just maxing on our golden horse, which we did that too. So, also a bunch of Koroks and... Yeah, always a stream where I'm not intending to do any... 
find any major things. Well, at this stage in the game, finding all that's pretty major for just one stream. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, our next time we'll be live will be um, next Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, because that's our normal time. It's just holidays this week. It's a little jumbled. It'll probably be that way for Christmas week, too. I'm not too sure, though, but there's a good chance Christmas week, because I forgot what day Christmas lands on. Uh... Oh, that's, I think, a Monday. So, maybe, but I'll let you guys know sooner at that time. And I always have the schedule for the next week in the description under our schedule area. So if it's as is, it'll be normal. But sometimes we uh, change that. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, streams every Wednesday. I'll be working on our final two videos for the year now that we got one out. And uh, yeah, then more challenge runs and funs and all that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It was fun chatting about stuff and getting to experience more of this. And one day, maybe within the next few months, we'll have it all 100%ed. So looking forward to it. But uh, everyone have a great night. Have a great Thanksgiving for those who celebrate. Uh, Pikmin. Oh, wait. Turkey. Because Thanksgiving turkey, but seal version. So it's fitting. I just named him turkey because he looks like a turkey leg. But Thanksgiving turkey, this is our version. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great night and have a good one. <laughs>